right back down the other side. How far will you go? With no guarantee, you know. Ladies and gents, welcome to your Super Sunday show, live from Manchester Airport. How are you all doing? Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic weekend so far. Here we are, Mr. Andy V, looking, looking quite clean shaven actually, so it's all, got it all nice, nice and true. I'm not, I'm, I'm going full hobo. But uh, very warm welcome, ladies and gents, to Manchester Airport. Hope you're doing well. we got Mr. Matt Smith up on the camera as usual. Morning, everyone. How are you doing, buddy? Warm welcome. Having a good weekend? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Bit of a quiet one, but yeah, it's been going, been going okay, Mate, thank you. Quiet ones are the best ones yeah, sometimes. Yeah, they are. Sometimes. Just chilling and stuff, yep. Chilling and grilling. And, uh, of course, we're live from Manchester Airport. Very warm welcome to the show, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Let's get some names in the chat. And talking of chat, I... Uh, haven't got my iPad out my bag to see what you guys are saying to us. <laughs> Very by. good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Super Sunday Show here on Airliners Live. We're live from Manchester Airport here on Sunday, the 12th of February 2023. Streaming live in 4K. And the runway in operation today is 23 right. Can you believe we're halfway through February already? It's quite quick. That is nuts, isn't it? It is flying by this year. Have you read it Mr. B? How was uh, picture and audio? 5-5? Five, five. How was he look? That was no mods. As always, a very warm welcome if you're tuning in on Twitch TV. If you want to watch in glorious 4K, folks, head over to YouTube, search for Airliners Live. Of course, you can stay in the Twitch chat to uh, talk to the cool kids. But we definitely recommend heading over to YouTube and uh, watching in the very best quality possible. 5-5, five, five. thank you very much, guys. Wow, Matt Cam, 10 out of 10 on the Zoom. Look at this, keeping it perfect. Bosh. <laughs> uh, you've been, been practicing, Matthew. No, 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 no. no. 
<laughs> just listening, listening to Andy's advice just, uh, and stuff like that, you know. You don't be sending your CV to the BBC, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Matt's been... I mean, yeah, me and Matt both obviously run the camera regularly and uh, we, we share our little tips and tricks that we learn. Uh, but at the end of the day, we do have a nice setup, and Matt's, uh, Matt, you're certainly improving a lot. I still notice it every week. Thank you very much. Yeah, doing really great, appreciate that. Thank great you. job. Thank you, mate. This, um, this flight that's uh, coming in at the minute now, this is a Ryanair, which happened to just occur before we came went live actually. yeah it just did a little um, aborted well I bought it landed did it go around yeah, just because yeah. there was uh, traffic on the runway yeah yeah and uh, it's coming in from Nantes it's a Ryanair flight 6946 which is 737-800 series and if anyone's watching on Switch give us a hello in the chat and all them VIPs on YouTube give us some wave emotes and we'll say hello to some Yep, Scott Dog, great to see you on YouTube. Um, Ash saying, uh, good morning, Av Geeks. Do we have the youngest fan watching today? Nan and Gramps sitting with Oscar, who is uh, just one. Oh, wow. Watching the planes fly over our house and watching them on the stream. Welcome, guys. Get in there, Oscar. Mia Triple One, welcome to you on Twitch. Yeah, I thought that, Tony, as well. Andy V's definitely uh, definitely looking like he's had half an hour in the uh, make- makeup department this morning. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I did... I know, ladies and gents, yesterday, if you saw it on our YouTube channel, um, we were going to keep this a complete secret, but I'm going to tell you what it is anyway. Um, it is... We, we've added a, uh, a makeup department, guys, to yeah. the stream. Yeah. Um, and about half an hour before the stream... Uh, me and Andy are going to have our hair done, our face done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of nails. Yeah. Just so that it makes, it's going to make the stream better. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, 4K we're, and all that. We're yeah. all about yeah. improving the stream. Yeah, exactly. 4K. Yeah, because obviously, as we said in the post, we want to make the stream the very best it can be. And I think me and Andy uh, looking our best. Of course, we know like my youthful looks. I don't need to go to make up the No, Matt, Matt no. got a free pass. The, the, so they called us into a meeting. They had a look at all three of us. And he said, yep, yeah, you and you yeah. uh, get here an hour before the show. Yeah. Matt, you're all right with five minutes. That's They've right. even uh, gone and waxed my legs, but I mean, you Let's can't see it. We'll wait for spring for that. Yeah. PG, PG, <laughs> spring. But I have got the Airliners Live socks on, by the way. Mate, looking fresh today. Yeah. <laughs> fresh today. <to death. laughs> There's another aeroplane about to land. Um, it is a easy jet. A320 coming from the lab. BA320 pushback as well. Melissa's right, I do have the eyelashes, guys. So, (laughs) at least I've got one thing on my CV. (laughs) So, coming in, uh, oh, okay, we've got a lot of hellos, got Roaming Adventures, Nick Barton, Amy Hassan, Jordan Benson, Alex Poulter, Mixter, George Elliott, we've got uh, Sammy Rackroyd Taylor, Jeff Rohrer. Uh, we got Kevin in there. We got Lisa Nelson, Quick Flight, loads of VIPs in Full the chat. Squad, isn't I know. It? Hope you put all the camera settings back. Yes, I have. Ladies and gents, can we get some celebration emotes and 10 out of 10s in the chat? Because, are we ready for this? Go on. My dad mm. is now part of the Sony squad. Ooh, go on. He has uh, purchased an RX-10 Mark IV. Nice. For his photography. Nice. So he'll be joining the Sony squad tomorrow. So listen. What a legend. Sony, if you're watching, contact at AirlinesLive.com. We're, we're, we're just encouraging everybody. We're changing the face of aviation with Sony, guys. He's getting down to the RVP now. Yeah. Has he ever been? Well, what he's trying to do already is hire us his camera. If ever we are short or if our camera goes faulty, he said we can pay him to use us. <laughs> All right. A rental fee. <laughs> rental yeah, fee. He's already sent his, uh, he sent his pre-forma invoice. <laughs> uh, pro-forma invoice. 50 so. quid an hour. Yeah. But, yeah, no, he's... Uh, He's ordered a, uh, a Sony camera. That's amazing. Good. Good on him. Uh, oh, we have a bit of support coming in. Uh, Peter Carroll, thank you very much for the 11 months of business class saying greetings from Melbourne, Australia. Looking forward to another great Super Sunday show. Thank hey, you very much, welcome, dude. Peter. And uh, Jane Chu, thank you very much for gifting an Airliners Live membership to the community. You can now gift memberships on Android, tablets, and mobile phones, guys. 
hit the dollar symbol, then click gifted memberships. It really helps the channel a lot. And uh, Victor Victor on the reg of this easy jet. And Petra Amanda, thank you very much for gifting the Airliners Live memberships. Andrew Moroz, thank you very, very much. Cheers. V Man tuning in from Central Scotland, welcome to you. And uh, King on Twitch as well saying, uh, good morning, camera work is looking great. Thank awesome. You. Looking nice and sharp. Overcast conditions today here at the Runway Visitor Park, Manchester Airport. Apparently it's meant to clear up a little bit later on, so potentially later in the show we might get a bit of sunshine to match the light. And a great time to start the stream off as already taxiing out. We have Singapore Airlines Flight 52, which is a service to Houston, Texas. I don't necessarily <coughs> mind diverse weather and all that. It makes for a good show, you know? It does, yeah. It really I, does. I, I strictly remember in the summer being like, you know what, part of me is hyped for the winter because in the summer it gets a bit, like, I love the sun, I love the heat, yeah. but it does get a bit like, yeah, come on, like, I do. I want a bit of wind, I want a bit of, bit of rain. Some spray. And then, and then you immediately regret it when it comes around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I wish for this? <laughs> yeah. But for me, yeah, and I'd say for you, for all of us, it is, it's more exciting. <laughs> Manchester Airport, known for its, uh, well, I wouldn't say crazy weather, especially compared to other countries, <laughs> places in the States and stuff where people join the chat and say it's like minus 10 degrees Celsius yeah. most days and whatnot. And then the next day it's like 26. Yeah. And then the day after it's minus 20. And uh, shall we have a quick look at our uh, channel partner radar box, uh, where we can see that our Singapore service to Houston has already begun its uh, taxi out, guys. And the Virgin Atlantic flight to Orlando is also pinging up on the ground as well. So a couple of nice departures. And is that a, uh, is that a couple of 757s we spot? Look at this, guys. Two 757s pinging yes. up as well. And so also, we'll ladies and gents, we've got the Q8 330, which is the next arrival as well. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Which uh, which 330 is it today? It's in, just in standard 330, but it's yes. in the old, in the retro, like the retro-esque ivory. Yep. Yes. On the way in, we'll be uh, bringing that to you guys very shortly. And uh, some awesome radar box integrations coming in the very near future, along with potentially some awesome stream additions coming in the future as well. Yeah, we've got some crazy things in the works for you guys. Yes. I was, uh, let's just say I was spamming the mod chat last night in excitement <laughs> that things were working. So, <laughs> uh, yes, and it's all we've talked about this morning, guys. Absolutely. So we're very excited. Very, very excited. There's a lot going on between you and uh, our developer, Zach, isn't there? Yeah, um, <coughs> it's kind of what I, I mean, I know obviously you do the traveling with the show and obviously um, you do a lot of the time on the camera and the editing. But for me, I like getting stuck into like the development and adding like new things and testing things and trying things out and yep. um, <laughs> dealing with like the behind the scenes stuff. I really enjoy all that sort of thing. So, yeah, me and Zach have uh, spent a couple of days behind the scenes getting a few things added and yeah, yeah. we're pretty pretty hyped <laughs> the legend that is Zach yeah Zach a big shout out he's kind of like a a hidden shadow on the show yeah because he's been he's been with the Zach channel forever been, though and he Zach exactly. has been with the channel since before it was even a thing yeah so I told you guys that we used to run a virtual airline Zach developed that virtual airline, guys, before nice. Airliners Live was even a thing. So, yeah, me and Zach have been good friends for a long time. And he, he's always saying he can't believe like how far the channel's come. Yeah. He's, he's super hyped about it. Loving these uh, slightly zoomed in shots today, Matt. Yeah, I love it. Super cinematic with that. <laughs> Let you really see the detail, especially in 4K. Yeah, we may need to tilt the camera a bit. Yeah, there, it's on, the way, on the right, isn't it? <laughs> definitely going down a touch, isn't yep. it? Yep. Uh, whilst we adjust that, ladies and gents, a very warm welcome to Gary Bennett tuning in. Welcome, dude. Hope you're doing well. 
And um, also a massive shout out to Lewis and Logan who are tuning in as well. Thank you very much, Tony, for the message in the chat. Andy Baker, good morning to you. Uh, Sonny23, welcome, dude. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. And uh, massive thanks to everyone tuning in. We've also had some memberships coming through from Phil Loxon, who's uh, renewed his business class membership. Thank you very, very much, dude. Appreciate it. And uh, 80s Aviation Videos, welcome back to Premium Economy, dude. Thank you very much, guys, for becoming VIPs today. And uh, Amy Hassan, thank you very much for the three months of Airliners Life support as well. How are we looking, Matty Boy, now? We're not getting Bing Bongs mods, are we? I don't I'm think gonna, so. I'm going to fix that. Q8 Airways A330-200 in the stunning retro scheme. As it's pretty standard. Coming in from Q8 City. It's a seven-year-old aircraft, this. Just take a look at this livery, guys. It is absolutely 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Conrad, welcome back to Premium Economy, mate. Thank you very much for supporting the channel today. And uh, Mr. Zero, 9166, uh, returning uh, Premium Economy member as well. There you go. Your bing bongs are showing up on screen, guys. Any support to the channel will show up there. We've also got about to touch down, Matt. Iceland there. Oh, yeah. 737 Max 8 in the new scheme. I'll let you guys see the tail colour as it reveals itself from the sky, landing on 23 right. We've also got a Jet 2, a 3, sorry, a 757, might I say. Heading off to Tenerife South. <laughs> it's good to see the uh, 757 still flying. There's only a handful of them in the air these days. I think probably about four or five with Jet, Jet 2. Alpha Kilo is the one that's taxiing out now, is one I see quite often these days. I know Alpha Bravo is as well. Is Alpha Charlie as well? Maybe Alpha Alpha as well? <laughs> uh, I know Alpha India. I don't think it's in the air again yet. And maybe Alpha Julia as well, which was the two that we flew in actually last year. Yeah. Uh, Amy Hassan, thank you very much for returning for three months of uh, Airliners Live support. Saying hello, hope you're well. Can't wait for a great show. And uh, see my favourites, the A380 and the Qatar 777. Thank you very much, Amy. Great to have you with us today. Iceland Air has not quite made the, uh, the exit there. Conrad, I think I said thank you to you, but welcome back to Premium Economy, Conrad. Really do appreciate that, mate. Uh, Mr. Owen Flemmo, gifting an Airliners Live membership to the community. Thank you very Get much, in mate. There, Hope you're doing well, Sunshine, today. Well, you're okay, mate. Have you uh, installed CS yet? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Scarlett, uh, thank you very much for the Premium Economy membership. Welcome. Welcome, Scarlett. Me, I love watching CS, but I just I don't think I could. Chance. Well, we were saying before that me and Sam were playing Rocket League. Yeah, and Sam's Last with us today, by the way, guys, in the yeah. background. No mic, though, today. You're just doing a bit of... Are you doing editing? Messing? I'm mod modding. How to fix everything. Oh, OK. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Ice Max turning at the end of 23 right here. And Nick Barton, thanks very much for gifting five Airliners Live memberships to the community. Hey, Thank you. Thanks dude. a lot, Nick. Going to William and Evie Aviation, hey. James Whitaker, Chicken Crown, uh, Saturn Sky, and uh, Penguin 42. There we go. Thank Excellent. you very much for five Airliners Live gifted memberships. Really appreciate that. Have a listen to this uh, Ice and Air show. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
How do we claim this, guys? Um, I think there's a link. Or it should just come up saying um, opt-in. Yeah, and I think you when, you, opt in. when you first enter the chat on the, on YouTube, it should come up with the option to allow you gifts. Yeah. Uh, and PX saying, I'm off to Bridgetown Barbados next Sunday with Virgin Atlantic. Wow. Nice, dude. That's going to be great. Have a fantastic trip. Is that from Manchester, is it? Never drinking again on Twitch. Welcome to you. It's not John's alt account, is it? <laughs> yeah, the amount of times I've said that. <laughs> this is Jet vacating 2 3 right in from Geneva. Flight of one and a half hours. Yeah, 320 meal. I see the uh, Singapore 350 just entered the active runway here at Manchester as well. We'll catch up in nice. a second. Hi. Uh, Andrew Boyce, good morning to you. Welcome. Let's get this Singapore A350 900 already rolling. There she goes, Singapore A350-900 with a fantastic sound. That's a three-year-old aircraft, so pretty new. And in direct service to Singapore, one of the few transatlantic services we have here at Manchester, along with the Virgins and the Tuis, as well as the Canadian operators as well. And a uh, massive thank you very much to Molly Howarth uh, for the 449 Super Chat. Uh, Thanks, Molly. We're on uh, Southside today. We will give you a wave. Nice. Uh, if you let us know uh, what you're wearing, if it's a particularly bright colour, we'll try and see if we can spot you. That'd be cool. Beautiful waft of... Uh, I was going to uh, say, yeah, it's just got a nice whiff wonderful, of that. Uh, I noticed the, the Air Transat was pretty was pretty whiffy today as well. That came in as we were setting up. I'm going to try that. Yeah. Uh, let's just preview it. Virgin on the taxi as well, ladies and gents. Departure there of the Singapore Airlines A350. Seven five on the roll. Yeah, that was awesome. Over the top of the Concord, anger there. 
Yeah, it was an awesome, uh, awesome departure from the 7-5. Sounded great. And then Hanst91. Thank you very much for the 100 bits on Twitch. So can you show us where a TUI 787 is on stand? Um, unfortunately, we can't from where we are at the moment because um, we've got a few buildings in the way. Yeah. Uh, but we'll make sure we catch it departing for you. It'd be good if we could see the apron, you know what I mean? Yeah, it would be. It would. But I don't know if you mentioned, but we also have another Jet 757 pushing back. If that wasn't enough, another one. And one that I didn't mention before, Alpha Echo this time. It's one of the Jet 2s in the holiday scheme. Uh, once again, and this one also with winglets. Some of them do have winglets, some of them don't. And uh, 179 coming in from Molly saying, I'm wearing a purple coat and my dad's wearing a blue hat. Let's have a quick look, Matt, while we've got a quick break in the traffic. No problem, mate. Blue hats. <coughs> Start waving, guys. Whereabouts are you, Molly? South side, they've said, so. On the mound, main mound, or... There's about a 20 second delay with us, so we can yeah. uh, start scanning for someone waving. We've got you on the screen though, so we can see. Purple coat, my dad's wearing a blue hat. Uh, oh, there's a blue hat. There's a blue hat. So keep, there we go. Oh, hey, hey, we got you. Yeah. Welcome, guys. Nice. We got you on stream. That was quick, that. Quick, well done. Quick reactions to that as well. Mega. Excellent. We'll give you a wave back. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'm waving from the roof. I don't I'm know where I'm waving, but... <laughs> He's waving! Perfect. Well done, guys. Oh, we have a great time, south side. Yep. Yeah, they're at a great spot there as well. It's a cracking spot. Though. Yeah, I might return there this week uh, for a bit of filming. You guys know I like to show up here and there and just do a bit of filming, maybe a little bonus show. We mm. didn't do a bonus show this week, did we? On the approach, tap, flight... 1312 coming in from Lisbon. And we're keeping our fingers crossed, guys. This is not definite yet. No. Oh. And I can't even tell you what it is, Andy, because you know, so don't say. But okay. there may be there may be a short, short bonus show tomorrow. Yeah. Um, as in, like, a half an hour thing. Yeah. So, it's not definite yet, guys. I'm waiting on yay or nays, but... Just be ready. Keep your alerts on. If you've not clicked the bell icon yet, now's the time to click it so you don't miss out tomorrow. We'll try and give you a heads up if it's going to happen, guys. Yeah, it's, it's definitely worth catching. Yeah, like I say, guys, it'll only be a short one, but it'll be well, well worth catching if we if we can do it. If we can do it, mm -hmm. would it be after five? No. If it's going to happen, it'll be around lunchtime. Virgin 330 is just entering the activity of Manchester on the Super Sunday show. Also got a Tui Dreamliner behind that. Oh, great shot there. Got one of the obstacles behind as well. Looks like it was just doing a runway inspection over on runway 2. From the A330, 300, heading off to Orlando, Virgin Flight 75. 
This is the particular flight that will uh, move up to twice daily in the summer months, or the summer seasons, should I say, aviation-wise. And allegedly, they're going to be using either one or two A350-1000s here in Manchester. With that one. Yeah, imagine two Virgin 350s daily. That'd be nuts. That'd be amazing. They, they, for me, like, I know we love the A380s here, but the 350s, like, they really make it. Like, them and, like, the 75s and things are what yeah. really make Manchester special. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and the A380, obviously, is a big spectacle. Even look at the shirt. But, um, you know, we love seeing everything here at Manchester. Uh, we've got the uh, Bridgetown flight just about to uh, reach Juliet 1. That'll be our next departure. See it lined up there. And a uh, massive thank you to uh, Chicken Crown for gifting an Airliners Live membership on the channel. Thank you very hey, much, Steve. nice one, mate. Really thank appreciate you. the gifting, guys. It supports the channel, but it also gives back to the community as well, which is fantastic. Also got Ian Brownbill returning for seven months at Premium Economy. Thanks a lot, Ian. Welcome back, dude. Cheers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you. Wow, Jet 375 is looking great. Yeah. Seems quite quiet, this. Oh, no, it's all right. Oh, hello. 757, though. Heading off to a beautiful Lanzarote. Looking very clean. It is looking clean, isn't it? I'm not sure I've seen this one out and about recently. I probably have, I've just not clocked it. Hey, Laurie. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Laurie. Morning. Early morning for you. Laurie, what did you think of our... I've not put it in a VIP lounge yet, and I will do. But our, our food from uh, Saturday night... Oh, and a super chat we missed there. Malky stood out with a £3 super chat. Never too early for the Matcam Ice Lolly train. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, mate. Thanks for... Sorry I missed that. Uh, uh, Carl, sorry, was it? I was reading a mod message. Was it Carl? Oh, Malky. Oh, Mal Malky. 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 Sorry, guys, out, yeah. I was away with the fairies. And, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, just sorting a few things out. Not quite warm enough for the ice cream van yet, Malky. <laughs> Not quite there, mate. There is an aircraft about to touch as well. It's a Ryanair. From Marseille, and they've also got the Tui Dreamliner to Bridgetown yep. to depart as well. Yeah, thanks again, Malky. Sorry for missing that, dude. And um, as this is arriving, ladies and gents, we want to announce a uh, bit of a partnership, a bit of a shout out uh, for one of the Manchester Airport groups on Facebook. Um, if you're not already in it, which I'm sure a lot of you will be, um, it's an awesome group. Uh, they support the channel and they share the channels. Um, sort of updates and uh, I know they put a post in there about hitting 300k the other week which was uh, super friendly and uh, just a really positive group guys uh, something definitely worth getting involved in the Manchester Airport Spotters page um, we'll put the links in the chat make sure you go and get involved uh, go and join and uh, we've got a few ideas which we're going to be doing with those guys very soon so uh, get yourselves involved and keep up to date with all things aviation because it's even though it's a Manchester based group they allow you to post pictures uh, from your trips elsewhere as well, which is really cool. So uh, a super positive uh, space to get involved with on Facebook, guys. The Manchester Airport Spotters page. Links are in the chat if you want to join. Yep, all those guys are involved in that. Uh, all put stuff, post stuff on there as well. Yeah. Brilliant page. Go get yourselves involved. And uh, I know they've had the link shared in their group this morning for the streams. If you are tuning in for the first time to Airliners Live or maybe you've not watched us for a while and you're just tuning back in and you've come across from the Manchester Airport Spotters page, a very warm welcome. Yeah, Feel huge, free to get your message in the chat. Huge welcome, everyone. And uh, cheers to Paul and Sai as well for, uh, for working with us on that one. Tui now lining up on the runway. It's a 787-9 drum Dreamliner. And that'll be followed by the arrival of a Sun Express Max 8 coming in from Antalya. I remember Sun Express over the summer had quite a lot of different routes, didn't they? They had Antalya, didn't they have Dalaman as well? Yeah, I think so. I think and, that's right. And then this year they're going to add Izmir to that as well, so plenty of Turkish routes. Not short of uh, travel to Turkey from Manchester this year, that's for sure. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been to Turkey. There we go, Dreamliner on the roll. Welcome Twitch crew, I see loads of you on there as well.
Fairly heavy, the Dreamliner there. Yeah, using a lot of rum, mate. Uh, stick back on Twitch. Welcome, mate. Hope you're doing well. G Power, great to see you back. Hope you're doing well as well. I see Melissa asking where we went. So, yeah, I'm going to post this on the VIP lounge. Um, but the other night we went to a Austin, Texas themed restaurant. <laughs> and it was 10 out of 10. You can imagine it's going to be Texas barbecue. It was... I saw the, uh, I saw the pictures. Oh, it was naughty, guys. That platter looked. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, get, pretty big one. I'm not going to show it on stream because it would be not unfair to everyone watching. It was mouth-watering and very good. Yeah. <laughs> Proper Texas barbecue, so it was all like really smoked and really well done in a barbecue. Beautiful. And loads of meat. Uh, and it's called Red True. No, it's not. Red Dog Saloon, it's called. Red Dog Saloon in Liverpool. Nice. And um, it used to be called Red Dog Saloon. So I got confused because it used to be like this generic kind of like burger place. Um, but then he changed it, and now it's oh, good. Look, top, but ten out of ten. We ended up staying there a bit longer than we should have because they, they were just like playing like country music, and it was just like a really chilled out vibe, and <laughs> it was like the best place. It was like so nice in there. And walked outside. I love Liverpool, but walking outside and just being back on the streets of Liverpool, you're like, oh. <laughs> I quite liked it in there. <laughs> Rob Fitzpatrick, welcome back for three months of business class membership. Thank you, dude. Thanks very much, Rob. And uh, as the lads mentioned, here's the <laughs> Sun Express. <laughs> Max Silky touchdown from the Sun Express. Lovely. Silky. Waiting for the hill there, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he actually just targeted that, uh, that point. Left Antalya four hours, 40 minutes ago for the 737 Max 8. And what a beauty she is. Love the colours on this. Is that orange? Orange and blue? And Bill Stewartson, welcome back. Uh, business class membership. Really good camera work today, says Bill. Thank you, thank you very much, Bill. <laughs> Malky said you had me up until country music. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back, Michael B. Great to have you back with us, mate. It's all right, a bit of country music, man. Don't knock it. Exactly. You can always go around. <laughs> oh, seven fives lining up as well. No problem, mate. So we'll have an awesome departure very soon. Yes, and that's followed. Not very far behind is the next arrival, which is an ATR. Just love the colours on that. Mate, looking so nice the stream today. The overcast is uh, helping it a little bit. Helping, helping, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, this is a three-year-old aircraft, so this would have been among the first year of deliveries for the Maxis. Uh, and I assume these would have been grounded as well. Because I think it was March 2019 they got grounded. So this would have been delivered and then, or registered and not flown. There we go, let's whack the audio up. Enjoy this, guys. Love this seven fives on. That's glorious. What a sound. John Russell, um, yes, there's a link. Just uh, follow that link from Nightbot, John, which he says you can uh, join the VIP lounge here. It's are about to drop in here, lads. Hmm. What do you reckon is going on with this? I don't know. Uh, I may need to make it. An active source. Mm. We'll test it in a second. Mm -hmm. Good touchdown there from the aircraft in from Belfast Harbour. Yeah, Brody sounded great, didn't it? Blurry props. Looking nice and sharp. 
It's gorgeous 4K stream today. That kind of like nice blue that they have on the engines looks really good on the ATR. We've got an ATR coming to uh, MSFS soon as well. No hey, way. Hi. So um, me and John are definitely going to be flying that. Yeah, That's going to be uh, men- uh, the Sumer Lingus regional hops. Yeah, we'll Logan be doing that for sure, yeah. Urini. Who else? You've got, lo- you got loads in Manchester, haven't you? Yeah. Eastern, Blue Island when they used to fly. Didn't fly, but used to have ATRs as well, didn't they? Remember them? That's right, actually. They did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. they did. Yeah. It's weird, that, wasn't it? We got a EasyJet next in uh, to yeah, land um, from, from Amsterdam. A319 today. As much as uh, I love the Dash 8, I think they're better as a spotter point of view. I think they are less efficient, um, mainly because, well, they have higher efficiency per passenger but they have a bigger passenger load mm-hmm. which when you've got like someone like Flybe where they don't always fill the aircraft the ATR is going to be a better option there and the ATR is way cheaper as well like millions cheaper so that's a purchase so I was seeing the Ryanair obviously retrofitting their um, 7.3s with a split scimitar winglets. Yes. It's going to be about 200 million to retrofit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seen but that. the amount they're going to save on uh, on fuel per year is just going to be crazy. Yeah. I think, it's, I think I worked, it was going to take like three years to be in profit from that. That makes lots of sense then, doesn't it? Just a three-year yeah. investment and you've got it. And such a, like you say, it's not a major adjustment, is it? It's just, no. It probably makes sense all around because then probably the aircraft have a higher resale value and also like uh, it's going to continue to be more efficient yeah. onwards. Terry with the 179 saying only two weeks to the task fair. Who's going? Stop reminding me, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on. No, looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Naughty, naughty, easy. I know. Uh, come on, easy, Jeff. Can't be having that on a PG stream. We've got a wave, though. Not so rude. <laughs> Charles saying the Jet 2 Holidays is next to Dupar uh, behind the Ryanair. It's on three to Chile. It's completed a uh, one hour 45 minute flight from Milan. Do we have an E three eighty update maybe, do you reckon? Reverse, have a look at that. Reverse thrust just being uh, retracted there on this Ryanair seven three. Yep. And there's another Ryanair on, on final approach as well. Ryanair City, but I think the Jet 2 is going to be out first. Hey, that, thank you very much, Steve Barnes, for the £10 super chat. So you get a coffee on me. Wonderful quality as always. Matt is smashing that camera work. Thanks very much, Steve. Thank Legend. you. 
Thank you very much, Steve. Really kind of you, mate. I'm sorry uh, the alerts aren't showing through today, guys. They're uh, on a bit of a go slow, unfortunately. Just playing John. Yeah. <laughs> and having a quick look here, it is the Emirates A380, just a bit about to hit the coast. Yes. Uh, should be with us, uh, very One thing I've, I've noticed on these on this channel, yeah. Whenever there's something else happening, like John goes on sh on his show on Monday, or you lads are setting up Wednesday, or have you whatnot? Everyone gets blamed for everything. Oh, you <laughs> left this setting. You left this setting like this. You've been mucked about I'm going to blame Johnny. You've got the so stream he, key. Everyone's uh, mucked about. Yeah, I'm going to blame Johnny and say he blames us all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that goes wrong. Yeah. It's all kicking off. <laughs> Yeah, well, the, the issue is that with live streaming, of course, if there's a fault, it usually doesn't get noticed till you go live. Well, right, yeah, of course. Hence, I like, a, like a stream key, which is like the unique identifier for one particular stream. You're not going to notice that's wrong until you press go live, go live. and it doesn't work. Yeah. So by that point, you've got to blame them on the stream. <laughs> but speaking of the split scimitar winglets on the Boeing 737, with Ryan Air, here is one. A Max A200, going in from Copenhagen. Cheers, Russ. Glad you're enjoying the show, mate. Playing Fezzer merch. <laughs> hey, he did want his own merch line, didn't he? Playing Fezzer. It's all right. It's better than just being called a clown for a whole show, isn't it? It's <laughs> <laughs> Ryan and Max. Them See beautiful you. winglets there. Steve Cross, oh, thank you very much, mate. Steve Cross 69, oh, sorry, saying uh, morning guys only just subscribed. Loving the quality. Welcome, dude. Welcome, Steve. Lovely sound from them leap engines. As much as these sort of modern engines don't sound as loud when they're on the runway and whatnot, the taxiing sound you see is quite nice. Yeah, I agree, Saturn Sky. Totally agree, mate. Jetsu A321, heading off to Gran Canaria. Sunny, sunny Gran Canaria. Same time zone as the UK down there in the Canary Islands. It's quite useful. It's also not a... Uh, a huge amount to travel there with the amount of flights they have the competition is nice and high so generally a flight will cost you somewhere like 100 quid return and Lee saying morning guys it's Super Bowl day are you going to be watching the Super Bowl Andy? it doesn't start till quarter to 11 uh, and it lasts about 19 hours I think um, <laughs> no, uh, no not my sport that either I must admit I do like watching the American football but um, yeah it, it, it's it starts too late and it goes on for well too long for me. Yeah. But uh, for anyone who is going to be staying up to watch the Super Bowl, hope you have a great experience. I uh, I went out to see the uh, one of the UK Super Bowls, which was uh, which was really cool. Nice. Really enjoyed that. A bit of football, you know what I mean? Football. Football. Mm -hmm. Very, very big yeah, but I don't, I don't, <laughs> he's getting eyed from both I know, of us. Sam thinks I'm taking, make out of, I'm taking the make out of Americans here. Oh, right. I don't call it football. I was going to say, I just, didn't, I just didn't get what you were saying. Yeah, so I was just trying to understand if it was like an inside <laughs> thing or <laughs> I missed it or not. Right, well, I, was well, looking at, I was looking at the approach. <laughs> Kickoff isn't till half past 11, really, Tony. Yeah, in no, bed thanks. by then. I know, I was going to say, I'd rather 
Sports ball in general is not for me anymore. I just don't have the time. Coming in now, EasyJet A320, uniform November on the register, UN. Ladies and gents, pause the show. Can we get some mega bongs in the chat? We've Whoa. not had a mega bong come through in a long time, ladies and gents. Laurie M with the $50 mega bong donation to the channel. I expect you to have a life-size cardboard stand of me at the TAS fair. Oh, there we since go. Since I can't be there in person. It's breaking my heart that I can't attend, but someday from Laurie. You will be missed, Laurie. But uh, thank you so much for the support. Really, really do appreciate it. We'll be sending you plenty of pictures from yeah. the day. And, yeah. And, um, yeah, we do need to get you here on the next maybe, one. Maybe a FaceTime yeah. call or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Let us know when you're free, Laurie, and we'll give you a FaceTime call. This aircraft coming in from Geneva today. Flight 219048 of this 10 year old aeroplane. Thanks very much again, Laurie, for the mega bong donation. Yeah, for anyone who's new, a mega bong donation is anything that's either purple or red in the little bubble at the top of your screen there. If you see those come through, spam those mega bong emotes in the chat. Lovely early rotation from the Isle of Man bound Lugan Air 72, flight 694. And on the taxi out we have Virgin Atlantic's A330-300 GV Ray. Is that called Miss Sunshine, if I'm yep, correct in thinking? The only ray of sunshine we're going to get so far. Yep, Although we are, we are forecast a bit of sun later, apparently, but... Wait, we'll see if that happens. We're very very warm, uh, warm welcome to Linda Powell, who says, uh, I love watching your live stream. It's better than the uh, stuff on TV. Thank you very much, Linda. I totally agree. So can't, can't we try our best. We do. We do. But uh, if you are new to the show, very warm welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name's Martin. I've got Mr. Andy there. Sam in the background doing a bit of modding. And uh, Mr. Matty Boy Smith up on the camera, our resident moderator cameraman. Is that Michael Jackson up there? <laughs> 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 and Laurie also gifting the five airliners live there, memberships to the community as well, guys. Excellent. Absolute legend. Let's get some gift emotes in the chat going to Bartos. Uh, Linda, there you go, Linda. You've just got a free VIP yeah, membership nice from Laurie. Uh, Bill Walsh, uh, Steve Bailey, and Sharon Daniels. As Sharon well. Daniels as well. Yeah. Lovely, thank you, Laurie. Thanks thank so you much, Laurie. Much. Thank you. And for anyone who's just received one of those, you've got one month's free Airliners Live VIP trial, Excellent. business class. So you have access to discount on our merchandise, and uh, you also have access to all the fantastic emotes in the chat as well. Great support, really generous of you, that Laurie. Thank you very much. How do we get a membership saying, Vicky? Um, look out for links in the chat, or you can hit the dollar symbol, then click join yep. at the bottom of the chat. If you're watching on an Android device, um, you can do it on there. Click in the dollar symbol, then click and join, or follow the Nightbot links in the chat. Also got the Aer Lingus UK 330 pinging up as well for Bridgetown now. Oh, nice. Let's have a look at that then, shall we? And on approach, we have a nice skinny aircraft, the Embraer 145, coming in from Aberdeen with Logan Air. But yes, the Aer Lingus A330 300 series. It's Aer Lingus UK, isn't it, today? It is. Gulf Echo India. Lima Alpha heading off to Bridgetown. In the summer months, that tends to run a Orlando service. And I think when they first started Aer Lingus UK, didn't they have two A330 300s at Manchester? Yeah, I think that's right, Andy, yeah. Uh, subsequently moved one of them back to uh, Dublin. And they still have the one A321 Neo, long range edition that runs the JFK service. Ladies and gents, stop the train because Mr. Tony <laughs> P <laughs> has just dropped 10 airliners live gifted memberships to the community. Wow. What a massive wow. sub drop, guys. Wow. Absolutely crazy Look at them going all to, uh, in the chat. Going to Buzzer69, Jade Nedgley, Vicky Ivory, Muzza, Jamie Prince, Michael Kerwin. Richard yeah. Hodge, Jeff P, John Kentle, and Dev Vermula all receiving gifted memberships oh, from wow. the main man, Mr. Tony P. Dropping Tony. 10. What a guy. Let's get those gifty modes in the chat, guys. Loads of support coming in on today's show. Thank you very, very much. Thanks a lot, Tony. 
Thank you. Chef Ash saying, I'm filming in Gran Canaria for a new TV cooking show, and it's a gorgeous day. Nice, dude. Nice. I want to see a bit of that. And uh, AMG Aviation, welcome back for eight months of Airliners Live membership. Say morning, everyone. Welcome, dude. Listen, if you're doing a, co- a TV cooking show, get a get a get an Airliners Live cap on. Keep yeah, that sun out of your face. You know, yeah, you don't want to get you don't get sunburned, do you? Yeah, 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 exactly. Perfect. We've got we've got you sorted. And Callum Sanderson, a brand new Airliners Live VIP. Let's get some welcomes in the chat for Callum, a brand new VIP of the channel. Here comes Shortbread Airlines. Embraer 145. If you watch on Twitch, help us hit that sub goal as well, guys. Yep. This plane's quite cool in that it has uh, a strange seating configuration, just a one-two config, which means that the one of the rows just has one seat. <laughs> So you've got no one next to you, which I guess that's almost like a premium economy experience. It's almost yeah. like a business experience. I'd have a bit of that. I always flew on one of these as well. They actually had it run into Cornwall when they did that, um, you know, the, the launch with Virgin Orbit. And the reason why I didn't go is because it sold out immediately. <laughs> I was too slow. Well, a massive thanks to uh, Sam. Oh, Just a oh, couple yeah. of seats down, dropping oh, yeah. an Airlines Live gifty yeah, membership to Richard Granell. Nice. Thank you. How about Sam? Thank you very, very much. It is awesome how you can gift memberships these days. I have uh, a few memberships to a few live channels that I... I've just been gifted, and I just rock up, and I'm like, oh, look, I've got all the amounts. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm saying she just did that on her phone, which is great. Great shot there. The front office. But a very warm welcome to the channel, guys, if you're just tuning in. We're live from Manchester Airport on your Super Sunday show. Yeah, Owen, Owen must get these at Liverpool. Because he's saying he hates it when he gets on board these because his, his head gets bashed. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine the cabin's probably not massive. <laughs> nice skinny little plane. It must be weird as well to see the, the wings with no engine when you're inside. Yeah. Must be strange. I would love to fly one though. I think next time there's a, a, a rocket launch down in Cornwall, I think I'll uh, be going down and I'll aim to fly these guys. But I think from what, you know, I don't think it's as easy as it sounds, but Logan Air could definitely scale up them operations when when there is like a, a launch. Because them, them flights just sold out like in a heartbeat when they announced the last launch. I actually had it in my basket and I was um and ah in about it and with Logan there as well as a default you get um, a nice luggage package as well with that as a default so it was like 100 quid return with luggage which I think is really good yeah yeah no it is um, we just missed out didn't we just yeah whereas Flybe was more expensive and had like just carry on luggage with it it was like yeah. I'd rather just go with Logan here like much more reputable comfortable uh, on a jet as well here we go, there's one from Derek. I might let Andy read this one. Yeah, let Andy have that one. Come on, Andy. This one's... Uh... Say it with your chest out, though. Um, what, Derek Thompson with a 13 months of business class? Saying super color fra... No, nope. fra... Nope. Oh, super chat... Super, super chatalistic Fabi Dozy video. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Great stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> Bing bong. Well done, mate. I, uh, I, I, I I messed it up, but I swear, I swear. <laughs> Virgin three thirty on the roll. Here we go. That's how to do it. Off to Bridgetown, Barbados. 
Virgin Flight 77. A nudge, nudge, wink, wink with an 18 months of premium economy and approaching that uh, two year mark, dude, halfway through the second year, or the first year, should I say. Saying, have they stopped using the A350 at Manchester? Uh, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Uh, well, Virgin have stopped using them for the time being. They'll be reintroducing them maybe as soon as March. Yeah. Yeah. Spring rumoured, yeah. Yeah. And rumoured that they'll bring two. A350s to Manchester daily, so that'd be ha nice. Hyped for that. The uh, Ryanair that's lined up on the runway is uh, waiting to depart to Oslo. But then we've also got Singapore Airlines and Cathay Pacific rocking the regular A350s. Cathay, we usually miss on our shows. Mm. I usually catch them on like uh, Mac Aviation streams, uh, rocking the A350 900s, sometimes the 1000s. Yeah, another awesome Manchester content creator. Make sure you check out Mac Aviation on YouTube. Yeah, great guy. He's travelling a lot these days. I, I don't know how he has time for that. I wish I did. Yeah, he's, uh... <laughs> I think he's doing a, is it a Heathrow show today and a Gatwick show tomorrow. And then he's back in Manchester. Yeah. Just, some, uh, just some miles, isn't he? Yes, <laughs> miles on the motor. And also, just pinging up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Turkey 330, which is in the UEFA Champions League library today. Yeah, we've not seen that, have we, before? Nope. So uh, that'll be a nice catch. First on the show, guys, so stick I, around for that. I think it's a new livery, is it? Yeah. Is it yeah, getting it is, hosted yeah. in Turkey this year, the Champions mm -hmm. League or something? So, someone who knows sports ball, I'm sure. We're, say, we're probably not. Foosball. For football, foosball, right? football, hand egg, whatever they call it. Here goes the Ryanair, 737-800. And we've also got the A380, like, literally five minutes away, guys. Wow. There she goes. Michael B saying, Keithrow spotting is on my list to do this year. Awesome. Yeah, Heathrow has some awesome spots for spot. Yeah, awesome. I'm, I've, uh, I'm planning a trip to uh, that Premier Inn. <laughs> yeah, where we when, stayed. Uh, when it's nice. Yeah, Bath Road. There's a few different ones, but I think Bath Road's the best for the approaches. And if you get a nice sunny evening, the lighting is gorgeous. Like, it's like the aircraft come in and you've got, like, front-lit engines and yeah. f flying over the, the beer garden I was there. You can have to time it with a good sunny day, yeah, though. Yeah, we, we got so lucky. So yeah, because it's not like I can just say, right, I'll go for my birthday or whatever, because you don't know. If it's not going to be sunny, it's pointless. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. but you do get some mega catches there. Like, And if you can get a runway uh, view as well, like runway side, you don't see the runway, but obviously you get the aircraft going past the window like, whoosh, like that. Yeah. So uh, the A380s, 777s, just flying just past. Nonsense, yeah. isn't it? Nuts. But um, yeah, alternatively, you've got like Myrtle Avenue and, and, um, and well, obviously the Premier Inns. The Premier Inns on the north, isn't it? Myrtle Avenue on the south runway. Yeah. So you can catch both. It's really nice. good. Mega, mega. And, He's uh, in shot. He's uh, dropping in from... It's an A319, and it's dropping in from Charles de Gaulle, this one. We are a big uh, fan of Premier Inns here on the channel. Mate, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Yeah, I never used to be, but it's, it's the breakfast for me. It's a good vibe. Daryl, welcome back for nine months of business class, saying my boss is on the delayed Tui flight to Montego Bay, fourth row on the right-hand side of the plane. Lucky devil, keep up the great work. Nice, dude. Tell him to uh, shine his torch out the window. Yeah, <laughs> we'll uh, try and catch him on the show. Yeah, if, if he's on the right hand side, we'll see him on the taxi out before the aircraft makes the left turn to be parallel to the runway or on the actual takeoff. Yeah, if on the taxi out he shines his torch out the window, we'll catch him. Yep. Uh, yes, exactly. So after the month, um, it will automatically expire, Bartos. So if you want to continue it, you need to purchase your membership um, at that point. It won't extend automatically, no. No. There was a Cathay 7478 freighter. Like, he threw a bit of go wow. This easy jet coming in from Paris. Charles de Gaulle, A319. Bravo, um, Bravo India on the reg of this 16-year-old sporty jet. Yeah. 
Champions League final is um, in the Atatürk Atatürk Atatürk, Atatürk Stadium in Istanbul on the ah, 10th right. of June ok there you go awesome Gary makes sense makes sense cheers for the heads up so I wonder if they'll do something similar to Qatar where like Qatar Airways really went all in on the liveries because I think pretty much every triple that we see in Manchester had the little special decal at the back yeah, for yeah. Uh, the World Cup World final Cup sticker, yeah. and then they had the, the two special World Cup uh, triples as well that we see frequently including the, the really really nice sort of split tone purple grey one yeah which I loved that was the best out of the, uh, of the two wasn't it yes that was gorgeous I, but it probably still exists I hope they keep that forever. <laughs> yeah. A380 number two to arrive, ladies and gents. Stick with the channel. King of the Sky is not far away at all. Yep. Lufty Neo on the uh, takeoff roll here. Yep. She's heading off to Munich. And Brian Clark, thank you very much for the £5 super chat, mate. Saying uh, good morning from Brian and Linda in Coventry. Welcome. Hey, morning, guys. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thanks for supporting the channel. travel to Vancouver every week no we have a uh, presenter that would be some serious I, I was going to say we should have yeah. said yes there it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah we do yeah we have, uh, I, we have I, a, I, a I fly out every Wednesday yeah Martin isn't a fan of flying so he drives yeah <laughs> <laughs> He gets on his little uh, jet ski and uh, meets me over there, and I fly first class with uh, Air Transat. So. Listen, I, I don't, I won't mind a little first class over there. <laughs> we have looked at this, and it's me one of them. It out. is not cheap. Even like premium economy is like double the price. Net yes. jets biz on the just about to touch. Awesome. Tim from Brussels, a Phenom three hundred. Tidy little biz jet, this. It is. Here for signature aviation. And uh, stick around after the King arrives because we've got the uh, Lingus A330 on the taxi out as well. A380 is now in view. Oh, ho, ho. let's get them King emotes in the chat. And there's the yeah, Lingus A330 300. We'll be departing soon as well. Stick around for that. Nice wide body departure. I believe these rock the CF6 engines. It's a really loud sound to them. Here he is, the king of the skies. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks a lot for that. I'd say, Michelle, more exciting things coming. They were being tested last night. So uh, we don't stand still here on Airliners Live. We always want to bring you the very, very best we can. Much yep. appreciated, Michelle. Thank you. Hey, you are making a bit of a rocket. Really, a bit of a rocket. really was. <laughs> and Laurie, I, I know Martin doesn't like to tell people what, what car he drives, but you've leaked it. He does, in fact, drive. Just just a bang bang. Oh mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, out the bag now, ain't it? Well, it's out now. I thought singing on the way back from the stream was like laughing. <laughs> Can't tell you guys anything. No, no, that's it. What do you mean? I think we trust you, mate. So yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell yeah. them. We'll keep the Mary Poppins. When yes. you do Mary Poppins, we'll keep those. And Henry actually just hides away in our office. <laughs> That's where he lives. <laughs> yeah, it is a shame. So Saturn Sky. That's because the outboard engines are about 52 metres apart. A lot of runways that operate to are only 45 metres apart, they're wide, and we don't have to suck up the debris into the engine. You can see there the inboard engine with the slot in the engine carriage. We've worked up, the fair track access to full length of the runway here. Yep, that's really nice. There's a lot of runway. 
<laughs> it is today. Must be on a low, uh, low auto brake setting today. Yep. Slowing down. Great touchdown there from the King of the Skies coming in from Dubai. Emirates flight 17. Michael saying it's crazy to think there's passengers on board this in first class that will have had a shower on the way here. Yes, that is nuts. I think that's a facility more long haul planes should have, really, because you know you're on there for a, you know, I know that's only six hours, seven hours, but when you're pushing any more than that, yeah. you know, it's nice to have them facilities available. Manfire Oskosh tenders uh, just on their way to uh, the uh, the north side station. Because I don't know about you guys, but for me, like being on a plane, you can often get like quite sweaty and like because you're carrying all these stuff around the airport. You, you're walking around and you, you get on the plane and temperatures are usually a bit too high or whatever. And if you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to check them Twitch Primes, guys. Help us hit our sub goal for this month. Yep. We'd really appreciate your support on that. Don't they have an apartment on the 8382? They do, yeah. <laughs> they might as well. A lot of 8380 pilots, uh, captains and the likes do reach out to the channel saying, hey, you, you caught us today coming in and it's always nice to see that yeah. as well as obviously any other plane that we see flying around. Wow, who is this? Alpha Julia on the taxi out here. Alpha Julia, no way. The Jet 2757. But now starting its takeoff roll is the Air Lingus A330-300. You'll see that emerge. Awesome departure there, heading off to Bridgetown, Barbados, Air Lingus UK, Flight 9 at 3 at 1. And here is the King, all rise for the King of the Skies. Will we get a wave? That's the question. Yeah, we have been treated today with the sudden fives. We have. It felt like we've uh, we've not seen any for a while, actually. It seems like they're returning now to the sky. It's certainly looking good for UK aviation. The month's coming up. Thanks very much, Robin. Appreciate it, mate. We'll also have a brand new airline starting up at Manchester. Southwind. Turkish operator, of course. <laughs> there we go, the king of the sky is looking fantastic. Nice and clean today. After a roughly 3,000 mile journey up from Dubai, the gateway to the world, they call it. And Vince, welcome to Premium Economy, a brand new airline that's live VIP. Welcome. Cheers, Vince. Massive welcome to Vince, guys. Thanks for the support, Vince. Yeah, I think uh, the Jet 2 75 fleet will really pick up again when, like, Turkish flights pick up and also, like, the Balearic Islands. Because he likes to use the 75s on their routes as well. Right now they're kind of just serving the uh, the Canary Islands. So the one that's going to depart next is going to Tenerife South. James B, thank you very much. Glad you're enjoying the stream, dude. If you are new, ladies and gents. Put a message in the chat and say hello. We'll give you a nice warm welcome on the channel. 
Turn your volume up for this. Jet 275 lining up. Oh, yes. There we go. Rolls Royce RB211 engines loaded on this rocket ship. As it's about to blast off for a flight of about four hours to Tenerife. Which is home to Spain's tallest mountain. Anyone know the name of it? I've got a feeling one or two, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Mel, hello, I'm new. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. No way. Who did you rob that red tail? That's that Josh. Yeah. It's mad how she's got that on the first day. Yeah, yeah. Someone called me, says I'm new. <laughs> me. <laughs> Welcome, light the fires. I don't know if I've just been away from them for so long, but the sound of the 75s is yeah. just mental. Nice. Between them and the 330s today. Yeah. Shab says, I'm old but new. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Shabs. Hi, old but new. Right. Just arriving is the uh, Ryanair flight in from Warsaw, 737-800, after about two hours ago. A lot of aircraft pinging up on the ground. Turkish Airlines, 330 still pinging. They tend to ping for a while though before they actually get pushed back. There is a 2E Dreamliner on the taxi out though, and that'll be in view soon. Heading to also Bridgetown. And a fellow 2E Dreamliner off to Montego Bay. Has just completed its pushback. At Terminal 2. Wow, Winston, no way, mate. No way, dude. He's uh, had a mad 24 hours. He's got a cricket ball to the eye. Fractured his eye socket. Oh, Whoa. No. So he's Wixit. only watching airliners like 4K in one eye. Oh. No way, Wixit. No way, dude. I, that, I got a cricket ball to the side of the head when I was uh, really young. Got sent to hospital. And uh, they were worried I'd go deaf in one ear. Ah, I was all right. Yeah. Can I see Wixit? Yeah, get well soon. Dude. I hope you're all right, dude. Manchester's a London Derry service. Ryanair flight 8490. 737 800. And Trevor says, Good morning, all. Um, I'm tuning in, in from Quebec, the largest province in Canada. I'm currently watching from Anna LeBerge Hospital. I've been here since August 22. Wow. Wow, dude. I hope you managed to get out soon and uh, get well soon, Trevor. But it's a uh, pleasure to have you with us in the community, mate. <laughs> Best of luck, Trevor. Yeah, very warm. Welcome to you, dude. I assume it's quite early in the morning over there. Oh, it will be. Uh, yeah. Here we go. To we dreamline it in view now as well. This is the service to Bridgetown. Pretty well connected there, Manchester to Bridgetown. Three different operators fly to there. Oh, let's have another look at this, shall we? Emirates A380 uh, on the way in. Mega. Super smooth touchdown. And there it is on stand. We, uh, we're looking into why there's no audio on the replay, guys. We are aware. But uh, Chrissy B, thank you very much for supporting Airliners Live on our Kofi page today. Hey, really do appreciate that. We'll uh, read your message out in a second. The wings on the 
And uh, Chrissy says, enjoying a cheeky Malibu and pineapple in memory of my friend who passed away three years ago today. Uh, loving the stream as always from hey. Chrissy. Well, let's get some Allies Live Hearts in the chat oh. there, ladies and gents. Enjoy, Chrissy. Thank you for the support, as always. Now we now we have audio. Do we? Okay. Yeah. I just recycled it and it seems to have worked. Okay. For that, Tom's gifted uh, one Earl and his live membership as well. Thank you very, very and much, And that's gone to Ken Passy as well. Really appreciate that, mate. Ken. Let's get some of the replays. <laughs> oh. I've just seen uh, Flemos Senior and Flemos Junior there on the mound. Really? Yes. The didn't legend. Know he, didn't know he was here today. The legend. <laughs> yeah. We got audio back, guys. Sorry, I was moving. We got audio back, so let's enjoy this uh, replay from earlier on. Singapore Airlines A350-900 heading off to Houston earlier in the show, making a fantastic sound. But today, we've really enjoyed the 7.5s as well, because they've been yeah. making awesome, awesome sounds throughout the show, rocketing the uh, the airfield here at Manchester. Here's a good example of one as well we just got. Seven fives. And let's get some bing bongs in the wow. chat for Mr. Zero dropping five airliners live memberships to the wow. community. Wow. Uh, they've gone to Diggerman, uh, Daviator, Noel Withington, uh, Darylin Munro, and Peter Scullion all receiving gifted memberships. That's one month's free trial of Airliners Live VIP, totally free, courtesy of Mister Zero Nine One Six Six. Thank awesome. you very, very much, dude. Cheers for support, mate. Thank you. That's Thanks great. That. <clears throat> Cheers for supporting the channel and also giving back to the community as well. And another brand new VIP say it, from Harbour Tea Rooms. Nice. Welcome to Premium Economy. Thanks very much. Welcome awesome. to VIP guys. Flexi lady now lined up, ready to go. This is the service to Bridgetown to a Dreamliner. Here we go. That lovely wing flex there on that Dreamliner, though. I love it. Looking great. Yep. Like I said, that's off to Bridgetown Barbados, which is a journey of 3,616 nautical miles. And that aircraft was eight years old. On the taxi out, we also have an EasyJet A320. You can just see there, she's off to Milan on EasyJet's flight 22924, which is an EasyJet Europe's flight. So it's not British registered, but on the short final, we have a very special arrival. It's the Qatar Airways 777-300 Alpha 7 Bet on the reg, Bravo Echo Tango. All right, for a quick change over after the Qatar, Andy. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. No worries, mate. Wes 1980 saying good morning, uh, landed there last night from Malta. Welcome, dude. Great to have you with us. Hope Malta was good. As Andy mentioned, here's the uh, Qatar triple. About to touch down on this Super Sunday at Manchester. Qatar Airways still 
And Jake Hudson, welcome to the stream as well. Will you guys be here for the Kuwait 330? We hope so, as long as it's on time. Bill Stewartson's got a bit of Battenberg. Love a bit of oh, Battenberg. Oh, yeah, good lad. Yeah, yeah. Nice cup of tea as Cup of tea with that, yeah. Got a bit of cup of tea with that. 10 out of 10. Spot on. Got some 10 out of 10s in the chat for Bill, guys. Bill and his Battenberg. Way silky smooth touchdown. Absolute breeze. Nice, Chris. Welcome, mate. On today, Matty. Oh, squeaky. Squeaky, squeaky. I've noticed we aren't in the white, you know, the white guitar. Yeah. Oscar Foxtrot, that she was sending uh, sent that for like two weeks, obviously. Hey, Jake Hudson, keep strong, pal. Doing a great job, mate. Great to have you with us in the community as well, Jake. Just, uh, just enjoy the stream, Jake. Enjoy it, pal. <coughs> Bill, don't be, Bill. You, you can't, you can't start arguments like that in this chat, Bill. That's uh, that's that's going to cause a riot. I'm not even going to read that one out, mate. That is riot material right oh, there. Yeah. No comment. Uh, Andy can jump on whenever you need to. Get the uh, get on to the team. And uh, Marvin, very warm well, welcome to you, mate. Brand new viewer saying uh, great stream quality. Cheers, Marvin. Let's just making bacon and bacon and bread cakes, says Debbie. Guys, don't, hey. don't start this, Debbie. It's <laughs> half past 11. I've got two hours yet before I can even think of sneaking to the cafe. <laughs> I mean, I could sneak to the cafe. Quick I and mean, collect, man. Sam, Sam Amphor's got a handout, but Sam Amphor's also been coughing for the last half. Quick month, and so collect, it's a future. I may, I, may, I may not say you're from that offer if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the Triple Seven X will come to Manchester eventually? I hope so. Yeah, I certainly hope so. Really do hope so. That'd be mega. All right, I'm just going to have a quick uh, bathroom break, ladies and gents. Oh, so a big, big, quick coffee break. Uh, coffee, quick coffee quick cafe break, break, you said. Coffee sound like bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> BRB. Stand by, guys, while we do a very quick uh, camera change. We can head to you guys in the chat. A very warm welcome if you are just tuning in. You're tuning into the Airlines Live Super Sunday show. And... Um, what are we about two hours into the stream guys an hour and a half into the stream we're already on food that's not bad for us that's not bad I don't think so um, yeah get yourselves comfortable get yourselves comfortable and uh, enjoy the stream we're going to be live till about 2pm today approximately something like that guys and uh, we'll be bringing you all the aviation action from Manchester Airport a very warm welcome to Matthew uh, Burrell tuning in from Macclesfield um, 
we're still we're still on that topic in the chat, guys. We, we don't want to cause a fight, do we? Uh, Matthew says I've got some bacon sausages and the hash browns cooking. Good lad, good lad. And uh, Andy V looking uh, nice and toasty up on the uh, on the camera there. <laughs> non-stop out here it what? is isn't it I can't, what, what do I point the camera at can you turn my headset down a little bit I told you it was loud yeah Matt, Matt clearly Matt doesn't mind has no air jumps <laughs> years of welding here we go um, there's a Lufthansa in the stunning new scheme looking great Probably loaded with the Pratt and Whitney engines as well. This A3 at 21 here, it looks like. Yeah. Look at that beauty. Sounds great as well. It does. Rocket Wolf, great to see you on Twitch, mate. Yo, how's it going? Hope you're doing well, dude. Stowing them engine reverses nicely as it rolls past here. Two, three right, Manchester Airport, here from the runway visitor park. Have a look at this, guys. The views you get from here are insane. Got all these benches right up against the fence line there. And over to the left, you've got the, the mound where you can spot from and actually get shots from over the fence and views. A very warm welcome back to Catherine Ding, who's been a member for two months in a row, business class, saying, uh, morning, guys. Great stream as always. Um, are you definitely doing tasks on the Saturday? I had it in the calendar for Sunday for a couple of weeks back. Yes, so it is the Saturday, 100%. We're not there on the Sunday. We are only at task on Saturday, guys. Really, really important. Do not come on the Sunday looking for us. We are only at task on Saturday. Less than two weeks to go. Saturday the 25th of Feb from 10 a.m. We'll be here welcoming you guys in. And um, I just got confirmation the other day as well that uh, Arak from Back Aviation will be there as well. Oh, fantastic. As well as uh, Piotr as well and Co. That'd be awesome. So they're going to visit our stand, I believe, and be nice to hang with them guys yeah really got a lot of time for it very uh, friendly super positive great guy isn't he yeah really like him oh listen to that
Yeah, because whenever I join his chat or any fellow live aviation channel, I just join under my Andy name. Um, and as soon as I join his chat, he's like, oh, Andy, Phil, and his live, oh, great guys, you know, yeah. go and give him a follow. Just a nice yeah, change, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice. I think Manchester's got a bit, I don't know, weird though. There's a lot of negativity around Manchester at the moment, and it's just really, like, fresh to... Just have people like Simon and Arek who are just like us, just wanting to just push the positive vibes all the time. And exactly. It's, it's, uh, it's a much, much better way of uh, of running things. That's how so we've always been. So there's the Lufthansa A321 Neo taxiing in. I think they use Terminal Two these days, Lufty. Got an aircraft lined up as well. Is that a Finna? It is a Finna, yeah. Nice. Heading out to uh, Helsinki. Embraer 190 today. Yeah, he's a great guy, Eric. Make sure you check him out, guys. Mac Aviation on YouTube, and also uh, check out Simon Lowe on YouTube as well. Yep. Both very dedicated to the aviation. Live here at Manchester Airport. how you can see them rotate and get the gear up great view from here and the RVP oh the Tui Dreamliner yep lined up. lined up for Montego Bay I think this is the one that had the chap boss in it in row 4 was it on the right ok it was either this or the Bridgetown service I can't remember <laughs> yeah we noticed that Bill so Simon uses that for zooming in um, which uh, we, we really like. We had it on in the office, and we were we were saying uh, it's nice. how much we enjoyed it. It's smooth, isn't it? Yeah. I think we have enough cameras already. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, maybe we'll leave that one to Simon. I think. Yeah. I like it. Hey, that'd be awesome, Yorkshire Rose, if you can make it. Sure, it'd be great to see you. And um, Bill Stewartson saying it'd be good to see Eric as a guest on Airliners Live. Well, we're actually arranging that, Bill. Uh, Eric will be uh, coming on the show very soon, we think. Yep. We're just uh, just organising dates. Yeah, he has, a, he has quite the aviation background as well. He used to work as a... I can't remember the exact job role he had, but pretty much someone who uh, worked with uh, parts that went on to BizJets. And I think it was uh, Bombardier he used to service as well. So some of the aircraft that you would see here at Manchester, uh, he may have uh, fitted parts to. That's awesome, isn't it? So it'd be great to delve into that as well, that side of things. No, I'm as, as a guest as well. Yeah. We're always welcome to different types of guests and we've had a few different ones of course we've had a fair few pilots as well over the years and friends of the channel of course as well the guests usually go on the, the Wednesday show though because uh, the Sunday show it's pretty chaotic we have the three of us running it anyway on top of like the replays and the radar box integration mm. and and um I don't know if you've mentioned much about the uh, the future to come with. No, uh, we've not we've not said anything. That bird of prey just above the uh, taxiway in front of us, doing a little little circles, off to our ten o'clock. Oh, my, my eyes are not that good. You got wonky eyes, aren't you? Yeah. Literally, as if you're looking down towards the uh, threshold. Yeah, I can't. Maybe oh. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see anything. <laughs> oh, Ryanair on a taxi out, though. It's just a 737-800. It's actually the 737-800s that are getting these split scimitar winglets fitted as well. 
it'll make them look a little bit more maxi. And believe it or not, guys, I know a lot of the more uh, seasoned Av geeks out there will know, but winglets actually reduce drag by can adding... I, can I interrupt you? Yeah, go on. Bacon Sarnik, yay or nay. Matt is, Matt is running before he returns to camera duties. Um, what, now? Or, well, yeah, he's going now, yeah. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm he's good, good, he's good. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant just, like, in general. I was like, what? Go <laughs> what kind of questions that? So, yeah, winglets actually um, add more, like, physical, like, what you would seem like drag, but they actually reduce drag. It's so strange. They add more weight as well. But they reduce drag, and actually the offsets of it increases fuel efficiency. It's mental. Oh, I'm excited. Got bacon butty on the way, guys. <laughs> I had a sausage butty this morning. Oh, did you? Yeah. What, from uh, the old uh, Costa Rinos? Yeah, so, yeah, we were running. Well, we were kind of like, well, I had no milk left was the problem. So we usually have porridge in the morning. Yeah. Like nine times out of ten, it's porridge. And we ran out of milk, so we need to go to the farm. Today. Ah, okay. Matt's got his phone up here. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. God, he has the mod chat not muted. Oh, that would drive me mad. Oh. So you've got Siobhan. Is that Siobhan? Have I, sp- have I said that one right? Because I am terrible at these uh, difficult names. I'm all right with Jenny and Peter. But... Um, Neve, I've got, I've got on top of Neve. Yeah. Then, oh well, maybe no, I said that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> I've worked out how to say Neve. Thanks, Sam. You put me off. I have worked out how to say Neve. Yeah. And I think I'm going to take a punt. And it's yeah, that, say that, that, that's that's definitely Shivon. Yeah. Says uh, afternoon. Th- thanks for keeping me entertained in my element. There we go. Hey. Just had a bacon and mushroom sandwich. Ah, uh-huh, mate. The mushrooms for me just don't cut it on a sandwich. Yeah, it, it, it makes a sandwich it too, or a, on too, toast might work, but it'd be a bit too soft, wouldn't it? Like soft and softer. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's always my beef with um, like when you have a burger and it comes with um, fat uh, tomatoes on. Yeah, it's like why and your bread just slides exactly. Off. Like, it just Give makes it the rest. bread moist and it's like a, a not a. Because my, my, my theory is, my school of thought that I've always been raised with is, on a burger, the veg is to add, like, a nice crisp to it, like lettuce or if you want yeah. to put, like, onions on it or something. Just add a nice little to it, you know, like a little... Crispy thing. onions. Yeah. Way to go. Or even crispy bacon. And then the meat's, like, the meat. Meat. The meat. So, you know, you need something to kind of, like, add a bit of... a little bit of a, like a crisp to it. And a, and a, a soggy... Tommaso is not the best. It's not it, is it? It is not it, guys, let's be honest. Yeah, Watermelon Airlines. You might as well add a watermelon to it. Can I hear music? Yeah, I can. Where's that coming from? I was wondering the same. (laughs) Is there a concert going on? Ryanair lining up, uh, ready to depart. Uh, Just a short hop over to Ireland. Where's that even coming from? Is there someone on the ground? Is it with the radio on? We're being sabotaged. <laughs> oi, this is my spot. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> Fried onions on a burger. Yeah, that's the one. Are they loopy? Well, there we go. That, that's put me off. Tomatoes. Cheers, Loops. I needed an excuse. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> nice one, mate. <laughs> I'll use that one. It goes Orion on the roll now. Joanna was worried that we'd get your name wrong. I thought that was quite an easy one, Joanna. Really? Who has a tricky name in chat? Go yeah, on. if you show, show yourself, reveal let's yourself. See the tricky names in chat. What's <laughs> free? Burgers, nay, mate, get out. Definitely a yay for me. Really? Well, yeah. Like, like the Mackey style, mate. I'm down for a bit of gherkins. I don't. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them though that just picks it out the thing. You know, just starts munching on it. Oh no! Give that a rest. That. No Screw thanks. That. But slice it up nice and thin on the burger. 
Jen hates them. She absolutely hates them. But I, I, I'm a fan. I'll be honest. How about you? No. Again, they're too. I thought we were friends. They're a bit too. St- they're not. They're not crispy. They're like slimy. And it's, it's more what? a taste, though. If, especially if you slice them up nice and thin. Mm, maybe. <laughs> maybe if they were really thin, to the point where they didn't exist, then yeah. Just, just not there. My surname always get it's always wrong in uh, like the amount of times I have like um, some kind of utility bill come through and it's spelled my name Brown Hill. Oh right, it's yeah. so regular that I'm like you know what I might as well just change my name at this point. I'm sure my my good friend Ian Brown Bill in the chat will relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Owen from L L A N. I don't know how to say that word. No, Kappa. Can't get decent gherkins these days. Is that what it is? Because I'm just thinking of like the generic fast food ones that are trash. Like I've never actually had good ones, so. There's only one F in Stefan. Who's debating? <laughs> I was going to say. Martin needs a timeout. I mean, I'll time myself out if everyone agrees, but. The amount of times I've been called Johanna. Nah. Why are you not a fan either? Sam's not a fan either. Of what? Gherkins. Yeah, like. But like food. I say, don't don't push me out, guys. I, I don't have them out the out the can. I'm not disgusted. <laughs> out the bottle or whatever they come in. <laughs> <laughs> the jar was the word I was looking for. <laughs> the bottle. <laughs> Tap, uh, Portugal on the departure. Beautiful. To, uh, Lisbon Embryo 190. I love the colours. Them Portuguese national colours, green and red. Looking very nice. I'll uh, BRB, I'll leave your main camp. Okay. A Jet 275 arrival next from Geneva saying Mike K. Nice. So let's see a Jet 275 used on a different route other than the Canaries these days which is what they, the majority of the services is let's have a look let's zoom in shall we catch a nice blurry image of um, it's a little bit too far to focus on the moment there we go that's better that's certainly better isn't it guys or not either way definitely a Jet 2757 coming in next 2-3 right at Manchester Air watermelon, I like that one. Yes. Just had a slice of birthday cake. Samantha, where's mine? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Here we go. Jet 2757 200 series coming in from Geneva. A bit of corrections on the approach there. A little bit of a breeze coming from the north. Sort of northeast direction. They have very strong brakes, the 757s as well. You can really feel them when you're flying on board, landing. There we go. Look at stunning. Yeah, stopping nice and quick as well. The heavy aircraft. Again, then brakes. Working overtime. Let's see them 757 emotes in the YouTube chat, shall we? Oh, 
We got a wave from the flight deck. From the captain. Okay, okay. Nice. Allegiance Airlines. No. Nope. <laughs> Jetsu 757 coming in. Geneva there. Great wave there from the captain. Good lad on Twitch saying you may get the name Aaron wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance, mate, on that one. Could be a Ron. Yeah. I've never heard of anyone called a Ron. A Ron. Oh, here we go. I'll get the door open. <laughs> Come right in. Who's that? Welcome. There he is. Royalty as well. He just got featured on the stream as well. Is that important? <laughs> the next arrival is a bacon sausage. <laughs> no egg. No egg. Right. Uh, transat though, A330 coming on in. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> just caught him. Just sniped him. <laughs> he didn't even know. He was none the wiser that 3,000 people were watching him carry that package into the tower. Imagine if he slipped. Ooh, engine start there. You see that, guys, on the left? That looked really nice. Also got the uh, flight control check going ahead. Just checking the, the tail, the rudder there. Oh, Matt, Matt took a risk and chucked an egg on his. Making all kinds of mess down here. Oh, yeah. Flight control check on the uh, Air Transat on the sausage and egg. <laughs> There we go, Ryanair. Coming on in next. And if you're loving the show today and want to support some more free live aviation streams, you can do so by sending in a super chat or becoming a member. Or if you really want to go out of your way and send a few pennies our way uh, to our Kofi page, which is linked in the YouTube chat at the top there. Uh, that's uh, a page that doesn't take a cut. YouTube takes a little cut of the, um, the super chats and whatnot. So if you want to send just a quid, two quid, maybe a few, uh, send it to our Kofi page. Yeah, and a massive thanks to Tom and Anne who sent £10 through. Um, saying, hold on, when are you going to stream your squash games? Um, never is the honest answer to that question. Thank you very much for the donation. <laughs> The squash, the squash court is where me and Andy discuss the most uh, secret airliners live new modifications coming soon. That is, it's like a business meeting our squash game. It really is. In between crying and crawling on the floor, <laughs> we uh, gasping for air. We, we talk about business. Right now, vacated from Bologna, left a two hour flight for this one. John Fezzer has awoken. Good morning. Welcome. Nice and early. 
And uh, Deborah tuning in from Barbados. Welcome. Enjoy my Sunday morning in bed watching the show. Welcome to you. Hope you're doing well. I think Mr. Smith is on his way up. Uh, already? Already. It's quick, isn't it? Mate, you inhaled that sandwich. Uh-huh. I don't know where. It certainly sounded like it. I think I'll catch this uh, air transit departure and then I'll jump off. Which will be um, probably after this arrival that's coming in. If you want to let Matt know. No worries. Yeah, so we've been playing we've been playing squash for a few months now. I think we started like last summer. We had a little break, uh, and we had our first game after that break on Thursday. Been trying to improve health-wise a little bit recently, um, and just like I bought some some weights, some of that, some of that action, um, and also hitting the gym, and just in, overall trying to improve health and things. One thing for me is I always try to stay in shape because I hate getting ill. Like I, I know your body has the best resistance to. So like illness if you're in shape and yeah I'm really like, like I'm definitely trying to stay in shape guys yeah loads I'm trying really really hard just you know just watching my diet <laughs> making sure I'm doing lots of exercise and um, when I'm when I'm at the RVP I um, I eat really healthy you know He's just touching down A320 with the sharklets. The next departure, a nice wide body, an air transat A330. vacating from Iceland that's about 2 hours 20 minutes ago losing money 76 on Twitch say round is a shape yeah um, I think I've got that one locked in pretty good me um, yeah Matthew Hayes thank you very much for the £10 super chat dude appreciate it mate something else when you're standing up here you get the full roar of the jets that was nuts that was crazy oh an aircraft touching down Ooh, what's this Saudi a dreamliner you know what that means it could be a butter they usually produce the goods let's see Oh, it's a good one. What a landing that was. What a touchdown. Saudi are once again producing an impeccable landing here at Manchester Airport. 2 3 right. All too often we see that, showing us how it's done. They are definitely 
the airline that produces the smoothest landing at Manchester especially recently I uploaded a short clip to our YouTube of um, what was the smoothest landing I've ever seen of a Dreamliner and that was here on one of the shows a couple of weeks ago it was nuts yeah, it was really smooth that one it? we see these most Sundays most Wednesdays as well Dreamliner coming in from Jeddah today. Oh, six hour flight for that one. Over in Saudi Arabia. Mel saying, I love this livery so much. Really? What do you guys in the chat think? Is it a yay or a nay on the Saudi Airlines livery? <clears throat> I love that shot. Nice. Oh, it's smooth. Slurky rotation onto Alicante for the Ryanair Max. Another and on Max. the taxi out, we have another A330, the uh, yeah. Turkish Airlines. A330 heading out to Istanbul. Take a bow. Pilot in control. That landing here in Manchester. A lot of yays in the chat. You guys are loving it. Replay, please. My TV decided I only needed 144p just before the touchdown. <laughs> Don't worry, Steve. We'll pull that up shortly for you, mate. Coming right up. Matt's going to jump back on, up on the camera anyway. Hope you've enjoyed my little uh, brief spell on the camera here. It's a lovely temperature today, actually. It's that awkward in between when it starts to get a little bit warmer. It's not freezing anymore. It's still coat weather though. Right, easy jet. I'm gonna have to leave you. I'm gonna have to love you and leave you. I'll leave you with the ice. Heading back to Reykjavik on the taxi in my the Max 8 and BRB. Let's do very quick. Cameraman change. Now Mr. Matthew is uh, fed and watered. And we'll be uh, live for the next couple of hours to stick with Airliners Live today. Hope you're doing well, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, as always. And we have a uh, brand new Timmy Max on finals, apparently. Next to our eye. Man, what is with gloves? And just like one particular glove disappearing and destroying the set. It happens frequently with socks as well. You know, just like, you have one sock, like, where's the other one gone? <laughs> it's only been in the laundry basket, washing machine, out, gone. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like, oh, I'm sure I've seen it, I'm sure I've seen it. Lovely uh, Tui Max on the approach here. Let's get the replay loaded. What was it? The Saudi landing. Oh, yeah. Guys, that was... That was an absolute grease. Oh, they always do it in Saudi. The smoothest landings around. Wash. Play at double speed and it'll still look smooth. <laughs> it's loaded, guys. It's loaded in the system. This <laughs> Tui... Uh, Max 737 Max 8 Brand new from January 2023 Oh is this MX? Yep Yes Spanking new 73 Oh we're going to get a nice head on shot of this are we? Look at this girl she's so new Literally a few weeks old Let's get a shot of this. We'll uh, whack this on the, uh, the LinkedIn, I think. 
Golf Tango uniform Mike X-Ray on the reg of this brand new 737 Max 8 delivered in January 2023. Awesome to see this from Tui. Arriving at Manchester from Toulouse. Today I learned that we have a service to Toulouse. <laughs> I didn't know that. Is that a new thing? I mean, I'd love to go. Obviously, that's the home of um, Airbus. Right. Oh, no, we'll, we'll get it after this. He's Jet Neo heading off to Haggadah. Also quite a new aircraft. Only two years old, this airplane. Nice, Ian. Hope you had a great trip, mate. And Mark C, great to see you as well. And how about you guys rate this landing out of 10? This was the Saudi coming in from Jeddah that we just seen touching down. 787-10 Dreamliner today. Look at this, a nice big flare quite early on the flare, though. It kind of floats it, but I think that's intentional here at Manchester because you have, like, the elevation change at the start of the runway. They'll hump Here's the ice max on the uh, takeoff roll here from Manchester. Now that was a smooth takeoff. Silky, that would it. Wing lights on as well, as per usual with Iceland Air. We've noticed that is always the case when yeah. the landing or departing must be a standard um, procedure for the uh, the pilots to have them on. And they are usually used right for uh, checking the wings and making sure these, there's no ice. Uh, and that's kind of obvious as to why they do that, being Iceland Air. So uh, I think they just do it from every airline, every airport, sorry. Here comes Ryanair from Gdansk, operated by Buzz, which is a Polish subsidiary of Ryanair. And ladies and gents, we're going to be treated today because uh, pinging up on the ground is uh, is another Iceland Air, but it's a 757, guys. Wow. What? What's so, going on? Uh, what? Stick around. It's 200. <clears throat> yep. Yes. Why... What? The stopover? Stopover? Yeah, I think it's three hours, Raymond. Andy will know about it. Um, delay compensation? I think it's four hours, Raymond. It depends on the distance of the flight, though. If it's just a uh, a couple of hours flight, like let's say like a European hop, um, it's, I think it's going to be four hours. I think for long haul, I think you can get someone back on two hours, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, four hours as usual. Is the uh, Turkish 330 in the uh, Champions League uh, special library? Just entering the active runway. Yeah. Really nice to catch this today. Yeah, first for us on the channel. Really nice, actually. Different. Yeah. The, I mean, questionable colour palette, I'd say. Yeah. But, but uh, it's nice to see these things. It's not quite the uh, the Qatar triple. Rolling.
Love that. Great to see another A330 operating in and out of Manchester. Yeah, great stuff. Relay the message, Matt. I don't know what this means, but it says sorry she didn't know that was going out or something. <laughs> so, yeah. Are you, are you, someone was going to get a photo, I don't know. Can I try this? <laughs> oh, there we go. No worries, Sam. Um... Okay, that might be better now. Okay. Yeah, that should be better. We shall see. I'm sure we'll see more of that Turkish 330, though, especially with the. Um, Champions League drawing closer. I'd love to see more aircraft painted in that. Huge thank you to everyone who supported today as well. Been a, a great stream so far and plenty of new VIPs and you guys making good use of the gifted um, function which is now available on Android, which means if you're a VIP of Airliners Live, you can gift a VIP to someone random in the community and make their day. Uh, I think it's about a few quid, and it supports the channel, it supports the community, and it helps us grow our VIP community. We're about 60 to 50 commu uh, community VIPs away from unlocking another remote in the chat. Um, now, I kind of, I mean, we, we mentioned it on stream, I might overlap the um, the triple seven, the triple F emote. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. that's how this day that emote has. Yeah, uh, a lot of new people don't really know what it is. Yeah, and and still, it, still people to this day ask us, what does it, what does it even mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, we've always wanted an A330 mode, but I just don't want anything default that just says A330. Oh, boy. It needs to be a bit more nuance. Oh, my gosh, we mentioned. Ooh, hello. Is the uh, Iceland Air 757. I've seen, I seen a message in the chat that said um, that uh, this particular uh, plane was meant to go out yesterday. Right. And uh, as a result, subsequently uh, was delayed for whatever reason, and I was going out today. Nice. To our benefit. To our benefit. Mike Flynn, thank you very much for gifting an Airliners Live membership to Seb. Thank you very much, Mike. That's very kind of you, mate. Cheers, oh, Seb. Mike. <laughs> Just mentioned, I think Seb was the one who mentioned about the Iceland there. That's mad. Uh, uh, Mr. Been John Fezzer, Mrs. Airliners Live will break your legs if you delete that cat emote. I'm just oh, saying. Oh, 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 yeah. I, uh, I was fighting to Wouldn't be that brave if I were you, Sunshine. Yeah, that cat emote is integral to the channel, okay? We use it all the time. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the most used emote. Yeah. Listen, that cat emote <laughs> is the one thing on that channel that this channel that belongs to Mrs. Airliners Live. <laughs> You're not getting rid of it. That's the end of it. <laughs> Get rid of it at your peril, Fezzer. <laughs> oh, it's got a two-e uh, Dreamliner, which looks like it's going to be positioning over to Copenhagen. That's just on the taxi out. Emerald Air flight back to Dublin with the ATR-72. Nice, just uh, popping into shot there. But another, this has been like the 757 day, hasn't it? We've yeah. had loads of Jet 275, which, yeah. like, some days we won't see a single one. Today we've seen, like, a good handful and also an Iceland Air, which is kind of complete luck, really, because that wasn't scheduled out today. There it is. Plenty of cats in the chat. I was playing CS yesterday with, uh, with John, and uh, my cat has worked out how to climb on my head. <laughs> that bit, the picture is funny. <laughs> like, just saying, guys. I've not seen that. <laughs> so, um, this was me trying to play yesterday. 
with a uh, yeah, with a cat on my head. <laughs> so he's, he's worked that out, and then uh, he's realised he can like stand on my shoulder. Is that Harry there? Is whilst I'm playing? Yeah, nice. it, it would be the fat one, wouldn't it? Yeah. It wouldn't be the, the small be Harry. one. So yeah, Harry came and uh, had a little uh, go on, Harry. little chill on my shoulder. There he is. So yeah, he climbs on my head. Next time, stands on the back of my chair and then sits on my shoulder. Pass him a control next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's in my ear going, "There he is, left a bit." There he is. <laughs> you are the new cat stand. I am. Sun Express seven three Max is pinging, and also the Virgin flight to JFK is just pushing back from uh, the new pier at T two as well. I love this period of time that we stream because the, the 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 virgins just like drip feed throughout the show. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, there's always a constant flow. Of, well, not a constant flow, but there's always a odd yeah, occasional yeah, heavy. Yeah, yeah, and also the two dreamliners as well. So if you wonder why we stream the hours we do, that's why we love that. There's always something to look forward to. Whereas, like early in the morning, there's big gaps between the heavies. You know. We realise some deadline. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome departure, guys. Not seen one of these in a while, so get your volumes turned up. It's taken an intersection as well. Yeah, it has. looks like the Mike One intersection. Then there's a Turkish A321 on final approach behind. Get over the sounds. Really have a bit of a scream to them, those uh, oh, 200 For stars. real. More of that, please. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do love the 7.5s. Let's see that again on the replay, shall we? Screaming down the runway. Running a day late. <laughs> got a bit of time to catch yeah, up. Yeah, got a bit of catching up today. for gifting an airliner's live membership to the community that's been gifted to ellis who was a fairly new viewer i think aren't you ellis i've seen you a few times in the chat you gifted some super chats as well last week thank you very very much for that really do appreciate it thanks for the gifted membership welcome to the vip community thanks yeah. a lot Lindsay. and if you are a vip and you've got a face book account book face if you're a vip and you've got a face <laughs> <laughs> yes and if you have a face get involved in the vip lounge uh, over on Facebook, and uh, you just search Airliners Live VIP Lounge over there. But only if you've got a face. Only mm -hmm. if you've got a face and a Facebook account, so yes. you got both. Apologies for those who don't have a face. And get yourself involved in the lounge there. That's another behind-the-scenes community. Discussions, news, photos, whatever you want to put in there. Put your own bits and bobs in there. Sunday roasts, whatever you have. Pork pies. Pork pies, yes. Memes, I don't know, guys. Steak, yes. Anything you got, let us know. And I'll be posting pictures of that Red Dog Saloon visit that we had on Saturday night. I also like to put some photos up on uh, VIP only on YouTube posts as well. You guys have been enjoying the YouTube posts though. We've been uh, posting a few of them. Martin's been putting a few of his own photos there. Yeah, I think one of the it really popped off that latest one, didn't it? Yeah, so you've put, I think, two from what we call Project N. Yeah. And that was a, a little short film that we did on Airliners Live a good few years ago. Need to do that again, you know, lads. Mate, yeah, I know. We did it pre oh. pre COVID, didn't we? And that it was pretty busy overnight back then, but these days... Yeah, I don't know. We need to actually look and 
work out when it's busy. Manchester Airport overnight is just not busy these days is the issue. So yeah, we uh, we did that. It was good fun, nice little film. Um, I'll have to find a way to repost that because a lot of people obviously missed that. And the YouTube search these days, I actually struggle to find it because YouTube search favors like newer videos. So when you search like Airlines Live Project N or Airlines Live Night uh, or whatever, it just comes up with a lot of recent videos that aren't that. Yeah. So I'll find a way to do that. Difficult as well because I've got like five, six hundred videos on there now as well. So it's a lot of content in it. Yeah, yeah. But what we did was loads of filming from um, the apron area at night. And it was so cool because it was like all the, the night ops and all the, the ground ops and lo- loading the aircraft, offloading the aircraft, taxiing around, getting pushed back. Give a good, give a good story and scenes of what goes on behind the scenes from, exactly, like, say, yeah. from takeoff and arrival. It was brilliant. Yeah, and, and also things like um, the engine starts and the, the smoke coming out of the engines. Yeah. It was nice cold the dark it was so cool and that post is now the second most liked post ever on our YouTube it's climbing man it's climbing good grief we need to do that again get it planned again man. yeah we do Ellis, thank you very much for the 179, mate, saying at the airport pub spotting on my own. Great stream. Thank you very much, Ellis. Hey, thanks, Ellis. They asked him if we can go on the balcony. <laughs> Darren Taggart, thank you very much for the Airlines Live gifted memberships to uh, Mikey. There you go, Mikey. Enjoy that uh, gifted emote, mate. Or get the Antonov Burger order, Mickey, sorry. Antonov Burger at the airport pub. You won't. Yeah. <laughs> Should get a t-shirt for that, shouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I survived. Jeff's easily distracted. He's supposed to be doing all his chores he's watching, please. Oh, yes. Works better than that. When does the RVP open late again? I will try and find out for you. Yeah, that's a good, good question. They, they slowly extend the hours based on daylight. So obviously over the the deep of winter, it's like 4 p.m. It closes, but then it's slowly later, later until it ultimately is open till like 8 p.m. Yeah, in it's the in the summer. In the summer, and we'll be bringing you uh, a return of the evening shows, ladies and gentlemen. Which I can't for wait. For. I'm so so hyped for the Wednesday evening shows. Yeah, I am. It's just gonna be insane. Took so many pictures on them shows. Fezza said he's never been the airport pub. It's quite good, Fezza. Yeah, it is really good. The food's good. Views are amazing. But he's got nothing on an RVP bacon sandwich. Just saying. No. Yeah, I no. agree. Just saying. Sausage egg. This Ryanair in from Budapest left two hours fifteen minutes ago. And if you are enjoying the views that you're. Uh, Watching on today's stream, guys, get yourselves down to the Runway Visitor Park. Links will be in the chat or Google the Runway Visitor Park to get directions. Come down and pay for your parking. Enjoy the uh, views of the airfield. All the up close aviation. And Felicity, welcome a brand new VIP. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Got a VIP welcome for uh, Felicity, guys. Here's Felicity. Thank you. Dreamy on the roll. position there giving way to the easy jet which left a nice gap for us to catch yeah, the rotation. Rotation. yeah. That's cheers why, Nats that's why they did it yeah nice one Nats <laughs> perfect that was more of that please steady take off that from the uh, Dreamliner yeah it's only a reposition of flight oh Kevin D with a 10 <laughs> airliners live gifted right. membership to the community thank wow. you very very much Kevin 
Whoa. Huge. Thanks a lot, Kev. Dropping 10 airliners live gifted memberships. They've gone to Flo, John Michael, Mark C, Airtime Irish, Kevin Shaw, Pat, A.D. Harrison, Living the Dream, Debbie Reedy, and Drive You Crazy AU. All receiving gifted memberships from Kevin. Thanks a lot, Kev. That really helps a lot, man. Thank you very much, Steve. Cheers, Kevin. Cheers for all your support, mate. Absolute legend. Appreciate it. We've also got Virgin Atlantic. Flight 127 to JFK, taxiing out. It's a 330-300 series. Look at that wide body standing out. Where have you, sent, where have you sent that picture, Malcolm? Instagram. It's going to be a race to JFK. We've also got an Airbus A321 Neo with Aer Lingus heading to JFK as well. That's just uh, finishing its pushback now. And Darren, thank you very much for the five pound super chat, mate. So you get yourselves a nice warm tea or a coffee warm up, guys, from Darren. Thank you very much, dude. Thanks very much, Darren. Thank I may you. have spent my share on the, uh, the bacon sandwich I had five minutes ago. Same here. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> What's happening on the ground here at Manchester, ladies and gents? Cheers, Alice. Thank you, mate. Yeah, it's getting busy now. As yep. we lead into the last hour of the live show today. The A380, believe it or not, arrived one minute early. Wow. So that could mean good fortunes. It could. That could mean it means it leaves an hour late. <laughs> <laughs> or, or as me and Martin were sat in the office at like 4pm, hearing an A380 go over. Yeah. Three hours late. Wow. But, um, Malcolm, where <laughs> did you send that picture to, mate? I can't find it. Show me the pics. Via email and also on your Kofi link. Okay. Picture, oh, it's not true. What is it, sir? Um, <laughs> You've hyped this up now. There's better be something. <laughs> so it's just something to deal with off stream. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Your urgency made me think of those. Oh, I'm just hyped to see. Okay. So next to arrive from Shirin, he's at A320. Oscar Fox drop. It's just a uh, seven year old plane. Quite new, actually. Relatively. Wow, that's fantastic, mate. That's really good, Malcolm. Wow, look at that. That's awesome. Hola, Mr. Langston. Captain Mark, is he in the chat? Best behaviour. Weren't you out flying yesterday, Mark? Yeah, I thought you had a flight yesterday. Yeah. Let us know how it went, if you were. What a uh, wonderful destination did you find yourself? <clears throat> you know what, Malcolm? I've had an idea for something, right? Um, like what you said in the chat before, and I know, and I was trying to find someone to do it, and you might be the guy, so I will ask you after the stream today, I'll drop you an email about uh, what I was trying to do. But um, for everyone who's uh, wondering what we're talking about. Uh, Malcolm sent us a picture of a uh, oil painting that he's done um, of a Spitfire, ladies and gents. And it looks absolutely fantastic. Let's get this on the stream. Have a, have a quick look after this easy jet touches down. Do you want me to put it on, on mine so you can actually see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where is it? In, uh, in the messages there, yeah. And Margaret Stewart, thank you very much for the £2 super chat. The very first super chat from Margaret. Thank you very much for that. Much appreciated, Margaret. Thank you. And speaking of Turin, I see Jet 2 utilised um, one of the 737 300s yesterday for the uh, flight to Turin. And there it is. There's the image there. How good is that? That's 10 out of 10, that, isn't That's it? That's awesome. I love paintings like that. Well done, mate. Thanks for sending that in, and I'll, uh, I'll drop you a message. Oh, 
the Geneva and Scotland, that would be easy to get that ball to go out to play on the Geneva and Scotland. Yeah, it's a bit of 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 a bit
designed in-house here on Airliners Live, and we are so, so happy with it. It'll be sold and debuted under the wings of Concorde itself, and it's the one that we have here. It's the BOAC Concorde, the flagship of the British Airways Concorde fleet. We now have a design of clothing. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. And I'll be debuting at the TAS Fair on the 25th of February. Um, and you can, those who have done pre-orders can collect on that day, but the pre-order uh, window is now closed. So if you do order it, it'll have to be to sh for shipping, or you'll have to just uh, come in first come, first serve what's left at the fair. Yeah, we've ordered quite a bit of stock, guys. Hopefully there should be enough for everybody at the fair. But I'll be honest, I don't know how many people are coming, and yeah. we just had to take a chance it's on what we've ordered <laughs> to, to put it lightly it's the biggest merch order we've ever placed so if that's anything to go by i hope we're going to have enough stock for you if we don't we'll be able to take uh, back orders on the day and uh, we'll get it shipped out to you as soon as possible and shout out to your dad as well who went through and like exported all the orders from the last task fair events yeah. that we did yeah and what we did was we looked at it and we we, we checked what sizes were the most popular so that kind of gave us a curve as to, like, what kind of things to order, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what size are going to be most popular in things? Of course, we don't know, but it's the best we can do. So, yeah, we'll have, we'll have plenty of different sizes there, plenty of different designs. Um, so obviously, other items, like the pin badges, the coasters, the luggage tags, the key rings, loads of items, some mugs there, uh, and obviously prints will be there. Plenty of other clothing designs as well. Yeah, loads we're going to have items. loads of stuff with us, so there'll be plenty for you guys to choose from. But for me, it's more about the community um, meet-up events that we're going to be doing uh, there. So We've got something cool coming for that, guys. It's actually been ordered. We're hyped. Yes. We're hyped for it as well. Yeah, you'll see. It's something a bit silly and a bit fun, that's all. Yeah, so I'd highly recommend it. Everyone, come on down um, and uh, get, some, get some photos with the team as well and meet what is not just the Airliners Live team, but the whole community. Yeah. Like I said, Niels will be there. Captain Mark will be there. I know Fezza, Loopy uh, will be there. I think Paul Davies is going. Chester Mike. Yeah, what I'd recommend is if you have any Airliners Live merch already, um, or you have an Airliners Live cap, something like that, maybe wear it to the fair, guys, so that as you're walking around other people's stalls and things like that, other community members will see you and say hello because obviously everyone will recognise the um, everyone will recognise the logos and stuff. So. Yeah, it's comforting. Like just see when they, when someone approaches you and they've already got Airliners Live merch on, you know, you know they you know they know yeah. kind of what's going on, rather than it being like oh. Uh, you know the channel? I don't know. There'll also be free, very rare beluga mugs available. Yeah. <laughs> Collector's items. And... Yeah, we tripled the price on those guys. Is that right? I'm yeah. joking. It's two days, isn't it? Valentine's Day. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Tuesday. We've kind of already celebrated it. We we did that on, on, mm. on Friday. Kevin D returning for 16 months executive. Club wow. member wow. saying afternoon guys can I have a cardboard cut out next to Laurie at the airliners live stand oh wait I promise to be there in person not <laughs> sure which might be the best <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking forward to seeing you again mate yeah yeah it's going to be great John's going to be there as well Mr Fez cheers for your support Kev thanks Kev we need a Henry cut out as well. I know. Yeah. A Henry one would be funny. In his like high vis jacket. <laughs> yeah. With his airlines live cap on. Aircraft just lining up on the runway now as well. Oh, look at that shot. The Max head on. EI Hev. Coming in from Krakow. But yes, just lining up on the runway. We've got. An Airbus A321neo, long range edition going to JFK. It's an Air Lingus service. It's actually a pretty new aircraft, only delivered in 2021. A very comfortable flight over to New York. Uh, yeah, on Twitch, the merch link is uh, just airlinerslive.com. Airlinerslive.com. Yep.
And if you're watching on Twitch, can we get some cappers in the chat? Because the, the Q8, that's going to depart. The Reg is nine capper. There we go. Hi. <laughs> Do we still have the chopper emote? We still have the chopper emote over there, don't we? Quite possibly, yeah. Switch crew. Big you up know, yourself. <laughs> Sun Express on the taxi out as well. Looks like I've got another easy jet arrival before the uh, start getting some departures out. Looks like that Sun Express has like a blank winglet on this side. Yeah, it does actually. We see that on the departure. And uh, a nice colourful one on the other side. The flying bull just about to land though, coming in from Lisbon. A320 200 series plane. Sporting the uh, the sharklets there on the seven year old plane. Retired Jake. Good morning, mate. Tuning in from Boston. Welcome. Hey, morning, Jake. <laughs> There's two, two tiny little kids there in front of the thing and they kind of just walk past each other and then they both just turn around when there's a boy and a girl and they just turn around and they both started waving at each other. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> he won't walk off now, he's waiting for us to wave back at him. <laughs> where's, where's my wave? <laughs> There's the flying ox, the A320, the flying bull, should I say? We do, Subsonic. We do, mate. He's jetting from Lisbon, about two, and, two hour and 20 minute flight. Then holding down the end of the runway. We got a bit of a uh, bit of a traffic jam of departures, as you can uh, see on the old radar box view. Yep, all the way in this uh, 2E73 from Malaga, just to drop in, and then some of this traffic should ease at the start of 23 right here. It's a big queue actually of aircraft waiting to depart. Mostly Boeing as well, but there is the one Airbus wide body in there. What's the closest hotel to the RVP? Possibly the Premier Inn. It's super, super close. Yeah, yeah, to so the RVP. Uh, yeah, there's right. a Premier Inn that's really, really close that John stayed in once before. Yeah, and right next door there's a Holiday Inn Express as well. So both for them. For the RVP, that's walking distance. So we just touched down from uh, Malaga, 737-800. There's actually two Premier Inns there, north and south. They're literally right next door to each other, so either one, whichever's cheapest, I guess. Obviously, bear in mind, if you are, like, looking to get a hotel for the memorabilia fair or whatever, uh, Manchester City Centre is not very close to the airport. No, no idea. No, so I know a lot of people have done that in the past where they've booked a hotel in Manchester. It's it's not <laughs> it's not very close. <laughs> it's not close. Yeah. And if you've got traffic, you can, you're looking at like 
half an hour, 45 minutes to drive. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, and if you're looking to get in a taxi, then that's going to cost you. And Stu, welcome back to Premium Economy. Thank you very much. Cheers, Stu. Away from the flight deck there as well. Nice. Love to see it. Welcome back in, Brian. Lufthansa on the taxi out as well. This Boeing 737-800 coming in from Grenoble. It's a 21-year-old aircraft. A little bit longer than uh, most of the 7.3s you see here in Manchester, especially with the low-cost carriers like um, Ryanair. I suppose you could call Jet 2 a low-cost these days. I mean, generally, a lot of their flights are pretty cheap. More of just an all-round... Pretty uh, well priced leisure family package holiday airline. Never had a problem with it. Never had a problem with uh, Jet Yeah. They are really good. But now, ladies and gents, lined up on 23 right, we have the Q8. Ah, oh, yes. Already in the start of the safe off roll. things I like about that a lovely new addition to Manchester Airport just joining last year Kuwait Airways service director Kuwait City something we wouldn't expect really starting up last year but they did it and it's been a great success they actually only started with the the A320 Neo doing that that route which is obviously a lot smaller than the 330 and they had to upgrade it to the 330 and sometimes they even send the 330 Neos as well which have a higher capacity Sun Express is lined up now yes about to embark on the journey back to Antalya Sierra Oscar Mike on the uh, on the <laughs> ridge of this. Holding the Sun Express there on the runway. 
Yep, I just give a bit of separation. 3.80 still showing the scheduled departure time of uh, 10 past 1. Awesome. Enjoy, Terry. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, let's have an A380 update. Should we have a quick, a quick news yet? Uh, By all means, the uh, the current status of the king. Do you ship merch to the United States? Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. You need to just drop us a quick message though, so we can sort that out for you. A380 update. Rear hatch is still uh, been. Uh, Still open at the minute. <clears throat> Got the higher the jet bridge is still attached, and of course the lower one's still attached there as well. Doesn't look like they're using it. <laughs> Doesn't look too far away, which is no. good. Yeah, maybe they're just going to start pulling it away soon. And there's not a heat, high, high activity going on around there at the minute, is this? Well, oh, no. <laughs> Sometimes at this stage, you're still seeing them. Yeah, tinkering you know, around and yeah, <laughs> throwing bags on there, <clears throat> loading pallets, small luggage normally still going on at the back there, but yeah. But yeah, like I said, the jet bridges as well, they'll be the ultimate um, sign of, of when it's going to start moving. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, high hopes. Still about 15 minutes till that scheduled departure time. Yep. And this looks about appropriate for that. Got some departures coming right up as well. Got a Ryanair 737-800. To Eindhoven in the Netherlands, and also a Lufthansa A321 Neo heading to glorious Frankfurt. But yeah, look at our next arrival though. There's a uh, Ryanair in from uh, Carcassonne, an hour and forty minute flight. Ryanair flight 37. It's quite an easy number to remember. asking what jumpers we'll have at the fair we'll be selling our hoodies which are a lovely premium material nice and thick and warm i wear mine all the time i've not got mine on today i've got my my shirt on i got mine so on today has got hairs on yeah. look at that i've got the um, airliner's live original hoodie on today boys retro yes. look at that we've all got our merch on today one squash game. I was showing off. <laughs> Put your feet away. Put your gammy feet off the table. <laughs> <laughs> I was showing off the socks again. Yeah. <laughs> Sticking your big toe over. Right? <laughs> them green toes down. <laughs> Shop.airlinerslive.com. Here we go, Ryanair rolling off to Eindhoven, flight 6951, with a Boeing 737-800 series. Another 737. One coming in 
That's with Jatsu from Barcelona. Maybe they'll hold the the Lufty for that, the Lufty bus, which is uh, due out to Frankfurt, as I mentioned. Probably one of the best places in Europe for spotting. Sun rays popping through the clouds over there. Oh, oh. Pog champ. But yeah, with regards to sizes and stuff, we're, we're bringing all the sizes with us, but just bear in mind it is limited stock, so um, it'll be on a first come, first serve um, basis on the merch that we're bringing with us. Just booked a task uh, weekend, uh, uh, Premier in for the whole weekend. Uh, same videos from the air. Phone and dash cam. That's a, that's a nice short name. Mm. Uh, but I hope to see you there, uh, my guy. Nice view of Jodrell Bank there, Matt Cam. The next to arrive with us is a uh, Jet in from Barcelona. It's, uh, hey, can we all can all the mods stop flirting in the chat, please? Are they flirting? Yeah, they're all having a flirt. What's happening? This is a 15-year-old aircraft. But one of the things I always say on the channel, although I love Jet 2 and the pricing and the routes, the package, even the aircraft rocking the, the 75s, and in the summer they're going to be rocking 330s as well. Is the comfort is just non-existent? Nah. It's nah. It's, it's a it's a nay. Not a, no, no. I don't know. Come on, Jed. If you can improve that last thing, you would be like the perfect. They'd be scraping God tier, wouldn't they? The, yeah, honestly. Just put some cushions on there, guys. Fifteen years old. This seven three seven eight hundred from Jet Two. Tango, Tango on the reg. That's going to stop right in front of us here at the uh, RVP. Looks like we've got a little checklist in the window there. Anyone read that? Anyone watching in 4K? Airfares are going to be low this year. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Love Santa 321 Neo is now starting its takeoff roll on the runway as well. Heading off to Frankfurt. Gorgeous aircraft. But if you are new to the stream, get involved, say hello in the chat, introduce yourself. We'd love to welcome you to the community. If you want to know everything that's going on around Manchester Airport and see some awesome content, head over to the Manchester Airport Spotters page um, on uh, the Manchester Airport Spotters group, sorry, on Facebook. Links will be in the chat for that. Go and get yourself signed up. We had the Jet 2 coming in from Barcelona, and the next arrival will be a Welling, also from Barcelona. An A320. Spot the dot. EC Mum on the reg. Shout out to all the mums out there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've both got squeaky chairs today, haven't we? Does that, I don't know. I don't know how much that picks up on the mic. It, There's some WD-40 kicking about here somewhere. Can can put, can put, put some on my knees. Well. My back on a Monday morning. Yeah, I was going to say, get that, on, get that on me as well. Not in that way. <laughs> <laughs> Smash him on the knee with a can. <laughs> <laughs> well, that saved our life before, didn't it? Before that WD-40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing that can't fix. Yeah, that's why I need Elbow to ask, remember to ask Mrs. Airlines live if. Uh, if that's arrived, it should have arrived. By A mysterious way. Amazon parcel that's gone yeah. 
Gonna miss. I don't think Jem would have used it for anything. <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't think she has much use for her advice. Ah, <laughs> oh, just what I wanted. <laughs> oh, I've not logged into the account on my phone. As Andy mentioned, this is the uh, Boiling service from Barcelona, about to drop into Manchester here. Beautiful destination. I need to get back here. Soon. Yeah, I need to go to back to Barca. Even if it's just to take in the city and stuff, you know. Zach Hughes, you certainly can, mate. Yeah. No worries at all. Spot the dot airlines with Welling.com. I love the grey and yellow combo on this. Another airline that on their Neos they use the Pratt Whitney options. This in particular is not. Classic A320. And on the taxi out as well, another new route that I didn't know. Um, there's an easy jet to Hamburg. Oh. I didn't know they flew there from Man. Maybe it's, we just usually don't see them. Uh, yeah, I don't think it happens many times a week. Yeah. Wayne's had an unbelievable sound quality. Thank Cheers, Wayne. Wayne. Thank you. Cheers, Wayne. <clears throat> yeah, let's off to Hamburg. Yeah, like we had a Tui earlier coming in from Toulouse. I had no idea we had a direct service to Toulouse. Which would be quite useful if you wanted to um, go on the Airbus factory tour, for instance. Which I'd love to do. Yeah, I'd love a bit of that. Imagine spotting down there. You can just see, like, all these aircraft doing test flights all over the place. Yeah, getting ready for delivery. and Yeah. And not, not to mention the Belugas as well. Oh, yeah. That's somewhere I'll defo look into a visit of at some point. Maybe bring you guys a stream from there. I know you'd have to do a nice long show. But also, ha uh, Hamburg, they also get their Belugas there. Yeah. Uh, as well as Bremen in Germany. It's where they uh, fit hydraulics and electric electronics to um, aircraft features, sort of like the wings and whatnot, the tails. And then it is subsequently shipped on to Toulouse, where it is assembled to the full aircraft and then delivered to its respected uh, customer such as uh, Singapore Airlines Cafe and and Virgin Atlantic who we see the A350s of here in Manchester and the wings for example built here in, in the UK next arrival to a couple of seconds out which is another flight from Turin this is the uh, Jet 2 flight 936 that's followed by Erlingus flight from Dublin, which is in the new uh, new library, and that's an Airbus, Airbus A320, and that's followed by another flight from Barcelona, which is a Ryanair 73 Max 8200. Right, so a few arrivals on the way in, yeah, guys, yeah. and also we're uh, waiting for the departure of the 380 before the end of today's show. I mean, we're thinking it may be on time. It's looking it shouldn't good. Shouldn't be too late. There's no reason it should be late. Yeah, why have they not pulled the uh, the ramp off though? They've not used it for a while. Well. <laughs> oh well. It seems to be that and the lower jet bridge still attached to the King of the Skies. Shall we see how late that ends up being? Huge shout out to everyone, everyone using the Kofi page as well. Thank you guys. If you want to support us on uh, any platform, you can head on over to Kofi.com. So it's uh, K O Kilo Oscar dash F I. That's Foxtrot India dot com slash airliners live. Links will be in the chat for you. Yeah. 
I don't know if you mentioned me earlier, uh, heard me mention this earlier, but this flight, this Jet 2 flight, Turin, was carried out by a Jet 273-300 yesterday, this. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. That'd have been a nice catch, wouldn't it? Positioned over from Leeds in the morning, then flew out, departed, and then came back. They must be sick of seeing them over there, but we never see them here at Manchester. You'll never lose it to lose, yes. Well, that's it. Good, yeah, good afternoon from Manchester. Hope you're well. Thanks for tuning in. Over in, I believe, Canada, right? Thanks for the support today, everyone. Been great. Thank you. That was the Hamburg service with EasyJet. Flight 21841. Next arrival, though, we've got a nice new liveried Aer Lingus service from Dublin. And there's the Fenham 300 on the taxi outfit landed before. Very nice. Yeah, most, almost all of the Jet 2737s are 800 series, and they have a, a handful of 300 series that are based at uh, Leeds Bradford Airport, and we see them sometimes here because of diverts, because this is quite a, a good option for aircraft to divert in from Leeds Bradford, because they do have quite often like thick fog and adverse weather of, uh, events that might prevent aircraft from landing there. Oh, well done. There you go. There's the hump coming into effect again. <laughs> Ground effect. Yeah. Just a flight of about an hour for this Aer Lingus, 143 miles from Dublin. Nice short hop. It does look a bit weird to see the Aer Lingus new scheme on like a classic A320 with no winglets or with the old style winglets beside the fence. EID. I like a little uh, shamrock there on the engine. Yeah, it's a nice little touch. Ryanair Max on final approach. Just visible there in the background. Coming in from Barcelona as well. EI Hotel Golf Hotel on the ridge of the uh, one year old well just, just pushing two years now on this Ryanair that's awesome that got a flap off a tornado just cleaning it up says John in the chat wow that's, that's tough mega. Mega. thanks for the merch orders coming through as well today guys see quite a few of them pinging up well thank you and if you haven't yet leave them since breeze to forget don't forget to hit the like thank you very much yeah um, Paul, I'm okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Great landing there, the Max. Yeah. 
Another Max head on here. Max 8200, rather. Yeah, I said earlier on in the chat, I do think the Maxes look a lot better than the standard 70s. Yeah, especially the Ryanair colours. Head on, look at that. So good. That's nice. So you're just going to display it, John, or have you got like a project in mind for it? Imagine that they're having like, the entire flap from an aircraft. Is that what he has? Yeah. Wow. Imagine that from like an airliner. Like, surely they must be going when they get scrapped, right? Yeah, be big, it? It's become a bit of a, a trend to, like, preserve bits of scrapped aircraft. I think back in the day, they would have just all gone. Go on, and split skin the tops. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. Different panels with bits of livery on it and things. The sound you use, the Phenom rocketing off. Yeah, no chance of catching that, ladies and No. Seatbelt sign will be off in a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was mad when, when uh, we, we did the airliners live at Ladybird 747 tags because it's, it's mental to see like we, we were there to watch it retire yeah coming in crazy and, out, isn't it? and then to have it in your hand actually to touch a piece of that it's same, bizarre yeah it was yeah. probably really weird I've got mine on display in, in the cabinet yeah I do love that they were awesome I I was pretty, I'm not going to lie right? I was pretty emotional when I got my tags yeah. my 74 was pretty I know yeah, I'd love to do something else, but I'm not sure what. Yeah, let's keep an eye on what else ends up on the on the market. I wonder if eventually we'll get a, uh, a 757 Jet C. I know on Manning you can get this Thomas Cook 330s. Yeah. Mm. They're pretty dope. Love the colours of them. If you can get like a split colour of that or the yellow and the grey. Yeah. And the Ryanair on the takeoff roll. It's a good dance. Flight about 730 miles. I'm, t I'm sorry to hear that, Mark. Oh, What's yeah. happening? Captain Mark. Um, he said, I'm sad today. My very fat pet parrot passed away. Ah. I'm very sad, but it's a huge weight off my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to hear that, mate. Can, uh, can someone ban Mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it might be a mod and all that, but you can't tell jokes like that. As you can see, the... Uh... <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought I changed back to main cam. <laughs> I, I did press the button, but it just didn't... Oh, didn't I, could, I could have just not let... Not, not told that you. That would have been another mat. <laughs> another mat. <laughs> <then. laughs> Why is everyone spamming, spamming the mat about in the chat? Some progress on the A380, ladies and gents. It Ooh. looks like, obviously, the rear cargo has been shut. The rear oh, they've so shifted the, the, the cones as well. Yeah, the cones have gone, and the higher jet bridge has been removed as well. So. Amazing. Looking good. Heading out very Can't be shortly. too long, I wouldn't have thought, ladies and gents. Be too long. Yeah. Stick around, don't go anywhere yet. We also have on a final approach, another Ryanair from Faro in Portugal, 737-800, EIEPA, which is only 11 years old. And then, I mean, a couple of aircraft pinging up on the ground, but ultimately we are waiting for the King of the, Dis King of the Skies to depart. Washproof on Twitch says, I bought an Avro Lancaster yoke from eBay a couple of years ago. Wow. 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 Has anyone else in the chat got anything cool, like any plane parts? I sh you should ask Sam that question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She'll give you a whole list. <laughs> I mean, yeah. should have a list. Well, Sam's really. got the list open just yeah. in case we asked her, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's She's had it <laughs> open <laughs> for 12 weeks and we finally just asked her. It's like, yes, <laughs> yes, I've got a chance to utilise this book. <laughs> I, I guess shameless plug, she'll actually be selling them at the task fair. Yes. Um, yeah. She'll be next to us, so if you want to give her a hello, uh, go and do so and have a look at the yeah. the crazy uh, merch that she has. 
So we'll be blocking your stand this year with our yeah, Q yeah. rule. Basically, our Q is going to be going right past your table. So. Yeah. Hey, well, that's good, though, if for you, because everyone will be having a good that's growl. It. And it that's isn't, it. Isn't. <laughs> this, this crazy. Well, you may, even, you may be able to go on the other side of us where the Q isn't. That may be good. We'll see. We'll see what Can happens. Just join the queue. <laughs> <laughs> just get in the queue. <laughs> just slide into our uh, table. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what was it? The first year we had, was it one table? Last year we went, you know what? We, we need to expand here, so we got two. How many have we got this year? Eight. <laughs> well, we've got space for six. <laughs> but, but we're only having three tables, okay. and the other stuff is the secret thing, and... Queuing space. Yes, queuing space so, is the main one because yeah. we felt very bad last time. Thousand IQ, we've got yes. it all locked in. We felt very bad last time because the, the queue was a bit out of control. Yeah. Which, which was good that people were queuing because I think if everyone just mobbed us and we didn't know who was next, that would have been stressful. But um, yeah, last time the queue got to the point where it was just Manic. snaking right yeah, it down was there. Tough, it? Like over people's stands and everything. So um, we've made. Uh, a bit of uh, adjustments. Yes, Spence. we have. Don't worry, guys. We have paid for all six of the tables. We've paid extra just to make sure we're not taking up other people's space queuing. Blue says, "When does the A380, guys?" <laughs> yes, <laughs> very very soon. The A380, guys, happens soon. No one walking about from Ryanair. He was making that exit. He was. In from Faro, Ryanair flight 4087. 737 800 series. Keeping an eye on radar for the King of the Skies to ping up. Sam in the chat saying that he has a bullet from a Harrier. Wow, really? Wow. That's nuts. That's the coolest so far. That'd be a good It'd queuing, be amazing though. if you had a bullet from a Warthog, though. That would be cool. That would be, yeah. That would be gone to you, much. Them videos, man. Yeah. Obviously, the video subjects isn't very nice, but the sound they make when you shoot the gun, to them. Yes. Oh, it's something else. Yeah. I was watching videos of Apaches. Oh, yeah. They're, they're pretty cool to watch as well. Do we have a? Do we have to queue for a selfie with you guys? Um, <laughs> what we say for people <laughs> wanting pictures is wait until the big queues died down for merch, probably. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then come back around midday. For yeah, that when sort everything of thing. quietens down a little bit, which it does inevitably do. It does quieten down for like an hour, half an hour yeah. or so. So that'd be probably be the best time. Yeah, and as Carl says, it is five pounds to get a photo with Fezzer, by the way. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Money message. Yeah. If Fezzer turns up, guys, with a card machine, don't pay him. He's, <laughs> he's, he's not asked permission. He's scamming you. <laughs> Alison Rogers, thank you very much for the five Airliners Live gifted memberships. Um, going to Drubia Jollops. Hold Shaw, Mike Clifford, and Zam H all receiving gifted memberships. Oh, awesome. Alison. Thank you, Alison. Huge thanks, Alison. Big supporter of the channel every week. Always drop some gifties and stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah, really appreciate it. Thanks very much, Alison. The uh, gifted memberships do really help the channel a lot, guys. So if you're watching on an Android device, click the dollar symbol, then click uh, gifted memberships. It's now available on mobile phones and tablets if you've got an Android phone, Samsung, Huawei... Other brands are available. Pixel, Google Pixel, Google Pixel, other um, Google Pixel Seven Pro. Just other like aircraft them. memorabilia coming in, lads. We've got um, Sam Watson. He did once have a flare cartridge from an Apache gunship. Wow. Nice. John Russell. John Russell. Wow. He had a Harrier engine vein. So I can only presume that's like obviously something to do. With I guess. It. I guess the flare cartridge was empty. <laughs> <laughs> Set it off in your house. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's really cool, though, guys. Brian King. Airliners Live q Force is available for hire. I will work for pork pies. <laughs> yeah. yeah do, should we get some security? Get some, do you think uh, we need some G4, security? Some G4. I'm yeah. some G4. In. Well, Matt was like the security guy last time, wasn't he? Walk <laughs> yeah. around. 
Oh, here we go. Chocks away Chocks on the away. 380. And just the jet the, bridge uh, is shifting as well, though. Oh, yeah, I see that. I just saw him putting the last bit of, might have been a pram or something on the uh, in the rear cargo, small cargo hold. Oh, okay. there, so. That's why they kept it there, yeah. That's why they kept it there. But as Martin mentions there, the lower jet bridge there being retracted from the massive A380, which we'll see depart in no less than 15 minutes or so. Thanks very much for everyone uh, tuning in today. Don't forget tomorrow evening at 6pm, uh, we flight night with John on our YouTube channel, so make sure you tune into that, get yourselves involved. And if you've not watched one before, it's definitely worth tuning into. Yeah. So uh, make sure you're on our YouTube channel at 6pm. Uh, we're going to be back live from Manchester on Wednesday. Possible bonus stream at Monday lunchtime. Possible. It's a 50-50, guys, at the moment. Keep an eye on our socials. Press that bell icon on YouTube. Make sure you don't miss out because if we get the yay on it, guys, it's going to be mega. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. So lunchtime, Monday, I'll let you know. I'll let you know, but it'll be good. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. They're usually pretty uh, good timing-wise as well. This yeah, one, yeah, yeah, not, yeah, not going to yeah. be too. There you go. Jet bridge has been removed. Another thing about the the TAS memorabilia fair, though, um, we're talking about a lot of aviation memorabilia. There's a lot of stands there that also sell them. Obviously, Sam will be selling a lot, uh, but there's loads of other ones. I know Heritage Concorde usually have a stand yeah. there. Yeah, I've got lots. a few bits from them last time. Yeah, they usually have like really cool bits from the Concorde or even from like the Nimrod as well. Um, and then I remember like Doors to Manual had a stand there as well, and loads of models as well. You can get loads of models. And obviously, Atlanta's live with some hoodies. Yeah, have a look around and support all the stands. Ladies and gents, we're really being treated today because pinging up on radar is another Jet 2757. Yo. Yeah. We'll be catching that before the end of today's show. Yep, Alpha November is ready for pushback. Well, it has been pushed back, so... Also, be going to Lanzarote as well. Yes. Oh, what a destination to fly on a 75. We need Max and Paddy security. Hey, up, ladies and gents. And the 380s on the push, guys. Nice. Emirates A380, 800 series aircraft. It'll just go behind this uh, the Premier Terminal here and then be pulled forward a few feet. Oh, go. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> We're going. A6 EF on the reg. Ethernet. Ethernet. Just hiding behind the Premier Terminal, but that will get pulled back forward so we can see the end of the pushback process. The King of the Skies. Caught loads of uh, awesome departures today on the show, including this blast off. The version of the last game, 330 earlier on. Conditions have been pretty overcast for the whole of this show as well. Like you said before, I didn't think that's how the stream. Yeah. Yeah, and because um, what overcast does, obviously, it, it, it removes the, the hard lighting on aircraft. And it also makes the... Um, you don't need as much dynamic range for shots, so it means that the, the quality just looks a little bit better yeah. on um, you know, certainly days like today. Um. And earlier on, we did catch the arrival of the King of the Skies as well here at Manchester Airport. Quite a decent landing as well. We'll show that on replay soon. This is Jack coming in from London Derry in Northern Ireland. Sorry, yeah, Ryanair, sorry. Don't even know why I said easy jet. I don't know why that was in my mind. <laughs> Ryanair flight 8491. With a Boeing 737-800. Ryanair UK, British registered aircraft.
This is earlier on in the show, Emirates Flight 17 coming in, the exact same A380 we're seeing live. This was earlier on, about two hours ago. About three hours ago, more like. Not too bad of a touchdown, though. And a huge shout out to Matt, who's done a great job on the camera today. Always improving. Thank you. Operating the camera is stunning 4K today. It's not easy. It's certainly not. I had a. Uh, a quick 10 minutes on the camera, I think, last, last week, and I hadn't yeah. been on the camera for ages, and it's, you just realise, wow, I forgot how difficult <laughs> it actually was. Yeah, because a lot of the time you're at, like, 400 mil, and you're trying to just constantly keep the, the, the plane locked in frame. It's yeah. so hard to do. Yeah. Even with the Manfrotto Nitrotech fluid head that we have on the tripod, it's still hard work. It certainly is. MS-8380 just... Uh, Starting its engines and it'll begin its taxi very shortly. And then we will wrap the show today on either that or the Jet 2757, which of us later. Yeah, when John Fezzer comes here, we're going to let him have a go on the camera. Yeah, John keeps saying in the chat he's going to be the best cameraman, so yeah. we'll put him to the test, guys, yeah. on the yeah. Sunday show. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll put, put it to a test. We'll, we'll put a vote in the chat. It's always funny when that happens. Sometimes people see it and they go, oh, that looks easy, that. And then they get on and then they go, oh, no, never mind. Because you realise you're trying to zoom at the same time as track the your eyes with the screen while moving your arm. Yeah. And you've got to balance yourself right. You've got to you know, have your position of your legs right so you can, like, smoothly move across. Ah, uh, thank you, Amy. That means a lot. Thank you. But, yeah, it's definitely getting really good, ca uh, Matt, on the camera. I mean, I feel like I've still got a lot of improvement to do. I still look back and I'm like, eh, could do better. But when you're at this kind of zoom, though, the actual pulse... Yeah, you can feel the blood coming through your body. Yeah, through your yeah, body and, and, and that, that is represented on the camera, so that's kind of the level of, yeah. Yeah. of, of steady you've got to be. As you can see, this uh, chap from Ground Ops here at Manchester is going to retract the pin there, from take the pin away from the front landing gear. The A380. I'll do it for the A380. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, guys, Vez is going to do this. Well, the A380 technically is the easiest one because it's the biggest one. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's also the one that has the most pressure. Yeah. And the tub being uh, put back to the Don't want to uh, leave the camera on me and Matt again. <laughs> <laughs> side of your heads. And uh, this chap here should give a signal to the flight deck of the 380 there. Just give him the signal, let him know that that pin's been removed so the uh, landing gear could be retracted. With the 75 done. Uh, oh. Promos here. Yes, that's what we want to see. Jet 2757, another one departing. How many have we seen today? So many. I don't feel pressure. So what, it makes the tail look big with that uh, livery. The Allegiant tail. Two, uh, two Jet 2 variants in the same shot here. Yeah. Company shot. Jet 2 Holidays shot. That's taxiing out. And that's the one that's heading off also to Lanzarote. Alpha November on the reg. <laughs> so many 7.5s on today's show and they've all made a 10 out of 10 sound so we've been treated to that but yeah on the Sunday show after uh, 
obviously the day after the task first that's two weeks today um we might have some guests on from the the mod team hmm a380 is moving ladies and gents now not long okay and don't forget, if you want to keep up to date with all of the info going on around Manchester and uh, see some awesome content, check out the Manchester Airport Spotters page on Facebook, an awesome group. And uh, we've put the links in the chat for you so you can head over and get involved. Some uh, nice integration coming with those guys soon. Yeah, it's a great page. Brody saying Fez will do a great job on cam. How do you know? <laughs> Show me is anywhere where John has operated a camera. Well, or how much? How much do they pay you to see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm looking forward to John having a go on the camera. We'll do that on the Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What plane would you rather have, Fezzer? We're not giving you the A380, but is there any other one that you want in particular? Maybe the the Sun Express. Maybe a an ATR. Bit of noise there coming from the 380. Lovely noise. Yeah. inspection <laughs> taking place as well. 380 running about half an hour late today, so it's not the latest it's ever been, but pretty standard these days. So it's much better than the four o'clock the other day, which is great. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> we were both sat there in the office. That sounds like an A380, that. But well, there's no way. <laughs> It was due out so much earlier. Well, I'm that good. I'll be doing all of them. <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave Fez up on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden saying, what's the quietest time of day at TAS? Uh, probably around midday onwards. But to be honest, it's it's pretty busy all day. I'll, no, I'm not going to glider. Let John film a glider. <laughs> yeah. What? What if we give John all the military movements here at Manchester? Yeah, yeah. He can do all them. Yeah. All the AWACS. You know what I mean? All, <laughs> all the warthogs that come in and out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of the Dakotas. Yeah. The yeah. We know they come to Manchester occasionally. <laughs> one, once in a uh, forever. <laughs> once in an emergency. Yeah. Or well, the red arrows, you know. When they come in. Jet 275 is just entering the active here. Taking an intersection as well. Yeah, yes. Let's hit the record button on this one, shall we, folks? Those on Twitch, make sure you get some clips of the stream as well. I think the Iceland Air took an intersection as well, didn't it? The it did, yeah. yeah. And if you're on Twitch and you make a clip, get on there. Places like Reddit, live stream fails and things. They might uh, pop off. Here we go, Jet 275 off to Lanza. So way to do it. Took a while to get up in the air there. I know it took an intersection, but but yet again, sounded incredible. <laughs> it's like even when they have D-rated takeoffs, they still sound nuts. My face was just like my jaw was on the floor though. If I'm honest, that was bananas. <laughs> Next to land is an easy jet in from Innsbruck. About two hours ten minutes on this flight. And following that will be the A380 departure. Great tracking on that though, Matt. Like the uh, the 757 is watching the replay back now. Looked awesome. Thank you. Like I say, mate, keep listening to you guys. I'll be alright. Always learning. It, I mean, you know, I've been doing the camera work on Airlines Live since like 2020. You know, like all the, most of the shows and stuff. So. 
That's three years consistently. I actually used to, um, back in um, 2020 when the airport was too quiet, I'd go to like fields and just practice tracking cars driving on the roads mm, around. Mm. It's good fun. A38 just taxiing down to the very start of 2 3 right. It's now what we like to call the roundabout, which is right next to Terminal 3 slash uh, the airport pub area. John is planning on coming in a bigger car so they can buy an even bigger plane model this year. <laughs> oh, what did you buy last time? Uh, oh. Other than all our merch. I remember she bought something that was... I think she bought about 36 hoodies. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, there, was, yeah. there was a model that she was showing us. I yeah, can't remember, yeah, was yeah. it an 8380? It was a big one. Though. Yeah. Hello, lads. It was either an 8380 or a Virgin Atlantic. Something or another. Well, that's something of someone else. Yeah, it might have been a Virgin 74, yeah. Yeah. Let us know. <coughs> A380 is not on the runway just yet. Got something uh, on the approach first. Yeah, the King is going to probably wait for these two arrivals to come in. Yep. Uh, the first of which is a uh, two-way flight from Keflavik, 783. And, uh, sorry, a 738, and that's going to be followed by a jet to A321 from Alicante. My dad bought an A350 model, was that it? I think I remember that. Yeah, I think it was that. I bought a Concorde 1 to 200 scale last task fair. Nicely. Did you buy anything last time, Martin? No, I don't think I did last time. I think it was just too busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. I may have, may have bought something small, but I, I don't think so. I'll, I'll definitely buy some, at least one thing from another oh, uh, In the mod chat, uh, don't forget F4 Joe Trot requesting shout out Flying Ryanair FR3. Two, three, two. Yeah, is that? Uh, yep, that's now uh, pinging up now. Yeah, it's pinging up and pushed back. Amazing. Pilot Joe on board. We'll make sure we catch that. Thanks yeah. for getting in touch, Joe. Really appreciate it. Yep, we'll stick around for the departure of that as well, which will just be not too long. Uh, this monitor has gone off a bit. Chapter. What's going on? Ah, okay. okay. Might have. Uh... Hang on. No problem. Can still. Uh... That's the one. Beautiful. And you're cooking on gas. Absolutely beautiful, that mate. Next to arrive uh, is the Jet to A321 from Alicante, and then the Emirates will be lining up behind. Happy Sunday, Gary. Great to see you with us. Hey, thanks for watching, Gary. Hey, that'd be awesome, Hayden. Yeah, it'd be great to see you, mate. If you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to check them Twitch Primes, boys. Help us yeah. hit our sub goal this month. Any primers, any oilers, don't forget. And if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. I just went upstairs, gave it a wiggle, and it worked. It worked. If in doubt, that, that, that's the cable, by the way. I'm talking about. This. If in doubt, wiggle it about. Yeah, yeah. Just go upstairs, give it a wiggle, and you're done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 
Paul Davies is in the chat, no way. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway um, there we go. Emirates A380 now lining up, and I think just heard on it over the radio that it's now cleared for its takeoff as well. I think um, Paul's got a stand this year, hasn't he? Paul mm. Davies. Oh, yeah? He's selling um, knockoff signed Noel prints. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> have you a picture, picture taken with Noel? Yeah, have you, I think he's got a photo of and everything. He's been practicing <laughs> his signature for about three weeks. <laughs> he's taking bookings, is he? Yeah. Mate, I've had about nine emails from him saying, don't forget to book because it's going to be busy. Yeah. Mold out. Unbelievable. Here we go, ladies and gents. Emirates, Airbus A380 about to leave Manchester on our Super Sunday show. Going behind it. Oh, wow. That was pretty. That was nice. Look at that with the rays there. That was awesome. Amazing. Great job, Matt. Cheers, thank you. That would have been a nice picture. Let's watch that back. And it's 3 8 party. This way is just, just gone wiggly again, but I've, uh, I can see on the back of the. Uh, okay, weird. Yeah, it's weird how it's just started doing that. Wow, that's Beautiful. so pretty with the light rays. Two e seven three just touching it in the all blue. Two e seven. Oh, nice! Not seen this for a while. I kind of like this library, it looks pretty smart. Yeah, I like it actually. It's nice. So we got the Ryan uh, requested departure. Um, first officer Joe on board. Hey. Uh, that is a Max actually, and it's uh, going to start its taxi soon. But guys, turning on to final approach now. I know what you're going to say. Yeah. It is Perfect. a Tui 767. <laughs> Love it. Coming in from Turin. What awesome. a way to wrap the show up today, guys. Awesome. The home of live aviation here on uh, Manchester Airport. Airliners live, streaming in 4K on your Super Sunday. Hope you've all had a great show with us today, guys. We stream every Sunday at 10 a.m. and every Wednesday at 10 a.m. here at Airliners Live. Yep, don't forget as well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a live flight sim on a Monday, every Monday from 6 with our John, our John Fezzer. And also a live show from Vancouver in Canada as well, every Thursday from 7 with Henry as well. Yes, and that we've been treated to some epic 757 action today, such as this Jet 2 757 blasting off. Listen to the noise. A lot of people hyped about the Super Bowl tonight. So who's even playing in it, guys? Let us know. More to the point, who's going to be staying up and watching it? That's a big question. Mm. It's, it's like when you get them big boxing matches that people stay up for, you know? Like oh, the I really see. big... Yeah, yeah. A-list box matches. I, I love my boxing and that, but not even I stay up for some of them, you know. Yeah, know. they do start late, don't they? Yeah. I remember one of the big McGregor fights. Sometimes, me, you'll find me often sitting my my thingy for like halfway down the undercard and stuff like that, and I just get up there and 
there was a big McGregor fight where he played, uh, was it Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, correct. Do you remember that one? That was absolutely, that was and, just like Daft Punk that, starting about yeah, five in the 5 morning. 5 a.m. Well, that was, that was my birthday, that. Yeah. And we'd actually been out drinking. Yeah. Um, and we just went, you know what, let's stay up for that. It's, it's 3 a.m. now. Yeah. Let's just stay up an extra two hours. What's the difference? Yeah. We watched it, and I remember that being quite a disappointment. That, yeah, that, that it really was, yeah. Just like, wow, well, that was not worth it. <laughs> Wish I was in bed. Because <laughs> everyone was like, oh, he's just going to get knocked out in the first round. And it ended up being dead slow, didn't it? And nothing yeah, really May- happened for the first, like, three rounds. Believe me, Mayweather went soft on the nutrition. Yeah. <laughs> So not in no hurry to uh, get back to the gate. Meanwhile, we're at the Erlinger A320 on the taxi out, which I presume is on the um, uh, return leg to uh, Dublin. Where's the 7 6? Oh, okay. 7 6 is on the uh, final. There's isn't not it? a lot of separation, but there's enough between this and its fellow 2E 737 Max. We'll stick with the 7 6, though. Is that the uh, Ryanair as well that's on the. Uh, I believe so, yeah. I'm trying to get to uh, Yes, three, two, three, two, yeah. Yep. Correct. We go 2E767, 300 series aircraft from Turin. Sorry, I, did I say Jet 2? It's 2E. 2E two flight 2727. Nice touch for the end of the stream, isn't it? Catch this? Yes. What a show it's been. Yeah, you can see Captain Mark was right saying that the landing gear is kind of like reversed on the uh, yeah, it is. The yeah, rear yeah. on the jet, on the 767s. Rolling out. Hear yeah, yeah, them brakes getting used. Gorgeous. Great catch. And now lining up. No. Always looks good, the 2E uh, 76, doesn't it? Yes. So, first officer Joe Trotts requesting a shout out on Ryanair flight 3232 to Malaga he, on board the 737 8200, which uh, <coughs> it's a max. <laughs> <laughs> the FO on board. Hope you have a great flight, dude. Safe journey, guys. Massive shout out to Joe. Safe journey, lads. Thanks for reaching out to us, mate. Really appreciate it. If you do fly in and out of Manchester, you'd like to reach out to us so we feature your flight. If you're a first officer or a captain, feel free to drop us an email, contact at airlinerslive.com, or you can reach out to us on Instagram. And we'll uh, make sure we feature your flight. We can obviously keep it under wraps as well if you want to stay anonymous and OBYF sounding absolutely fantastic to wrap up today's show folks yeah that plane 24 years old Mega, mega, mega Sunday show for us today. Great to catch those last few uh, movements towards the end of the stream there. Well done to Mr. Maddie Smith up on the camera. Absolutely smashing it, as always. Cheers for your support today, everyone. Thank you very much. Cheers. 
I'm down here in the studio, myself, Martin, Mr. Andy, Sam in the background, modding as well. Hope you've all had a great well, stream with us. It's been absolutely 10 out of 10, hasn't it? I've loved it. 757 Central. 757 yes. galore and, today, and isn't it? And the cherry on top of the cake, the 76 as well. So, yeah, it's been Mega. awesome. We've really enjoyed it. Had all the usuals as well, and loads of like specials and things as well today. Yeah. Of course, we really like the Kuwait Retro, the Turkish Airlines A330, and the Iceland Air 75. What a good catch that was. Yeah, that was awesome. For you guys on Twitch, we're going to send you over to an awesome streamer now, the Warthog Project, who's in a full sim of a warthog in dcs wow, he's an awesome wow. streamer i love watching him that sounds great go and show him some love let him know airliners live sent you for you guys on youtube keep your alerts on tomorrow could be a cool stream yep. we'll let you know that Follow should be around uh, lunchtime that as well but don't forget next live show which is scheduled is john live with john in the sim which is live from six tomorrow night yeah no promises at the moment for tomorrow guys but we're keeping our fingers crossed yep. so there we go that's it that's yep. wrap also shop.airlinerslive.com Get your caps ordered. Yep. Get your awesome The King A380 Airliners Live shirts ordered as well. Martin's got his hoodie on as well. Yep. Airliners Live. Sam, you've got your Vancouver hoodie and the cap on as well. Yeah. Looking fresh. We're I've got the original good. on. The original uh, Airliners Live hoodie on today. You're oh, good, that. Oh, oh, oh that, that jacket as well. Uh, oh, no, oh, that. Oh, 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 <laughs> the beanie. Beanie, beanie, though. Beanie, beanie, beanie hype. Beanie. Keep your head nice and warm. Take care, guys. This has been your Super Sunday show. We've been crazy. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow.